God is good all the time and all the time God is good a very good morning to you dear viewers from wherever you're watching us from just here in Kenya and worldwide this day the first day in the month of April we thank God for the gift of time for the gift of years and for the gift of his blessings in our lives we thank him having brought us this far and uh, in the Franciscan family here in Kenya and Capuchin Franciscan family worldwide today we are bidding farewell to one of the champions of faith here in Kenya Reverend Father uh, Kalistas Wafula Simiu who was born in 1973 in the Catholic Diocese of Kitale and uh, he joined uh, the congregation of the Palatines before God showed him a different path to follow when he joined the Capuchin Franciscan Friars and uh, having made his first uh, religious uh, profession in the year 2003 usually that is done after the novitiate he continued with his formation studies at the Tangaza University College in Nairobi and uh, after completion of his studies he was ordained as a Catholic priest in the year 2010 he has served in the at the altar of the lord for 12 years having spent uh, most of his time in the catholic diocese of malindi as the formator or the uh, accompanying gui guide to those who are in the formation program our capuchin brothers who are spending their time in peketoni as aspirants and then as uh, postulants from there he was uh, sent to work as the community baza in charge of finances at the padre pio uh, saint padre pio friary in karen in the archdiocese of nairobi again where he's dedicated his time to look into the affairs of the of the formation house after which he was sent and uh, by the vow of, of obedience uh, he ministered and he had been ministering to the people of God in the Catholic Diocese of Kericho at St. Padre Pio Telanet. That parish he, uh, together with uh, of, uh, Brother Simon Moravi, uh, uh, Simon Budi, were the, the, the founding, uh, the founding uh, brothers after it was uh, uh, separated from the mother parish by who by then was the Bishop of uh, Arch, uh, the Diocese of Kericho. Uh, Emeritus Bishop uh, Emmanuel Okombo and uh, Father Kalista championed the coming up of the uh, structures to, to, to go with the, 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 the level of the parish. And so he has been serving the people of God in the Catholic Diocese of Caricho at the Padre Pio uh, parish that is uh, in Telanet around uh, seven kilometers from Kericho town on your way to Kisumu. Um, on fri last fri two weeks, uh, fr uh, last week Friday, he coming from uh, Eldred to back to the parish in the afternoon hours, uh, he was involved in an accident and uh, he was uh, taken to the Eldred um, uh, refer and teaching hospital and uh, the doctors tried all they could to uh, attend to him but our will is not uh, God's will or rather God's will is not our will God uh, rested him at the uh, Saturday 26th day in the month of uh, March being the fourth Sunday of Lent we say God gave and God has taken the uh, liturgy of the Mass is starting the main celebrant uh, the Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi uh, His Grace uh, uh, Philip Arnold Subira Agnolo to all our Franciscan brothers and sisters who have sent uh, their condolences to the Capuchin family. We thank you for standing with us. We thank all those who have uh, accompanied uh, Brother Callista with uh, their prayers and love all the way from uh, uh, Christ the Sower Parish in Mpeketoni, that is the Catholic Diocese of Malindi. Uh, the people of God from the St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Hola, that is in the Catholic Diocese of Garissa, as well as St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Ruiru, in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, and uh, their uh, immediate uh, family members for the, from Kitale, and especially the faithful from St. Padre Pio Parish in Telanet, the Catholic Diocese of, Ke of Kericho, where he was serving. And so we thank God for the times that he allowed us to spend with our brother, with our colleague, with our friend. We, in a special way, uh, pass our condolences to the 
family. The father and mother are, are present together with the siblings. Remember, is a, a family gifted uh, by God with, with vocations. Um, uh, Brother Callist had a, a, a sister who is a religious sister of the little sisters of St. Francis and so also to those who have uh, accompanied the family. We give thanks to God for the gift of uh, Father Callist who again, as the Lord says, was called to serve in the vineyard of the Lord. And so from uh, St. Austin's uh, uh, church, which is the oldest church in the inland uh, of our country, after the missionaries uh, who mostly they came from the uh, congregation of the Holy Ghost fathers, nowadays they are called the Spirit and Fathers, after uh, 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 docking in Mombasa, Kilindini, way back in uh, the, the last century, and uh, setting up a mission in Mombasa, they came, remember that time, the man eaters of uh, Tsavo and the railway, and this is the church where inland Kenya they established the first community of believers, the first church. This is St. Austin's church in Msongari in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Here is where Brother Callist will start his final journey from the altar where he was serving. Remember, liturgically, uh, a priest uh, laid on the at the at the at the at the at the coffin. Uh, usually, uh, uh, faces faces the Christians. That why, that's why he was serving the people of God, different from how uh, a faithful would uh, be laid at the coffin there facing the altar. So that is a liturgical uh, teaching that um, this uh, brother who was a minister at the altar of God will uh, be lay, uh, will be placed in the coffin as if he was to stand, he would face the people he was serving. The faithful, when they are at the, at, in the coffin, they are placed in such a way that if they were to stand, they would face the altar where usually the sacrifice of the mass is offered. Join us for this prayer where we are bidding farewell to Reverend Father Callistus of Fula Simiu, a Capuchin Franciscan friar, born in 1973, ordained for God in the Catholic Church in the year 2010, serving at the altar of God, serving God's people in different dioceses here in Kenya and uh, going back to his maker uh, 26th day of March. Uh, thank you for standing by the family, those who have for your prayers, and uh, let us accompany the soul of Brother Callis to the prayers, and uh, especially to the parents who are here for having to bury their sons, a painful, a painful experience to all those who have uh, lost their dear ones, and for all, we are still in the Lenten period where the Lord is inviting us to return to Him, and so we thank the Lord who has taken back uh, Brother Callis to stay with Him. Join us now for this Eucharistic celebration of the Mass led by His Grace, uh, uh, Most Reverend Philip Arnold uh, Subira Agnolo, the Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi. <laughs> Sending our, our brother Palistas, um, giving him a befitting send off. And uh, we are happy the liturgy will be presided over by the Archbishop of Nairobi, um, Baba Yetu Philip Agnolo. He is the one who is going to lead this liturgy, uh, assisted by uh, the Bishop of Kericho, Bishop Alfred, Alfred Rotich. And uh, we are happy because among them we have our brother, the bishop elect of Malindi, uh, of Garissa, sorry, of Garissa, thank you, of Garissa, uh, namely uh, uh, Father George Mudaka of the Capuchins. And also the superior of the Capuchins is among those who are, are assisting the bishop and the parish priest of this parish, Father George Omondi. Um, the choir which is going to lead us 
is from Padre Pio uh, Captain Friary. Uh, so we are happy that you are here. We are also happy that you have come in big numbers. Na sote tu mpatia hui ndugu yetu na hii heshima ya mwisho. Tukiwaombea wazazi wako pale wameketi pale, mze Benedict na mama Sabina wako pale na ndugu ambao ni wakaribu sana kwa hii familia. Sasa the procession is on na waomba tusimame kwaya tuanzishie wimbo wa kwanza. Kama mafadha wakija wakiketi kama kuna nafasi itakayo baki kwenye piuzi hizi mtaweza kuzi occupy. Lakini for the time being kwanza mafadha wapate hizi sehemu za Eh, za kuketi Zenu, check your phone. Please make sure that you have muted your phones or you put them on flight mode so that it will not create disturbance. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, our choir. Uh, now, at this point, I would like us uh, to invite the one who is in charge of this parish. He will introduce himself so that he can receive us here officially. Welcome, Father. Let us be seated a bit. Tumsifuni Yesu Kristo. His Grace Archbishop Philip Anyolo, Archbishop of Nairobi. His Lordship Bishop Alfred Rotich, the Bishop of Kericho where our brother was working, Monsignor George Mudaka, the Bishop-elect of uh, Garissa Catholic Diocese, the Provincial Superior of the Capuchin Friars, Kutos, Arnold Shirima, the Religious the major superiors of the religious congregations, male and female present, the priests, sisters and brothers religious, the family, the parents of our brother, Father Kalist, and all other family members here present, friends, classmates, parishioners who were served by Father Kalist. I take this opportunity to welcome you to St. Austin Catholic Church on the occasion of the celebration of life of our brother Father Kalist who has left us. I wish to say you are all most welcome to St. Austin. I just want to say a word concerning Father, that uh, Father Kalis is someone I knew very well. I came to meet him some years in 2000 when he was already finished philosophy in Arusha. And uh, by the time I came to Tangaza College, we met the same class as classmates. And for the four years, we were together. We acknowledge, and I think you do acknowledge, that Father Kalist, Kalistas is someone who related so well with people. There is a way he knew how to handle people and even to handle conflict. And I remember when we decided to combine spiritans and Capuchin friars to form a team called Caspiro. And he was one of those who proposed this and spearheaded it. 
and we ended up winning the 2007 Tangaza Cup, him as a player, myself as a goalkeeper. So he's someone who has been close to us and to me. Close to three weeks ago, I have not met him since ordination, but close to three weeks ago, he had come for a meeting at their provincial house. And uh, he was told that I am back to Kenya and I am at St. Austin. And I received a call from someone saying, please, I am at Iwado. I knew the voice. I could not connect the voice with the name. And I went to the gate. I couldn't see anyone. I called again, where are you? He said, I am just close to your house. And I waited. Within no time, he arrived. Not knowing they had asked, come to the office, took my number and wanted to greet me. And he came. We had lunch together. We had reminiscence of our past life at Tangaza. And off he left to Kericho. At Narok, he called me that he's just have a stop at Narok, continue with his journey. His demise, the news of his demise came to me as a big shock. When I heard of it, I was with his grace, and I could not believe, so I decided to make inquiries. And I called several numbers before I called their secretary, Father Charles, to inform me that it was a fact. That was a shocking fact. And it teaches us how short, how gentle and how delicate our human life is. The only news is that our brother, Father Calist, touched so many lives in his priestly journey and wherever he found himself, and that gives us courage. So I welcome you all to this celebration. Na wakaribisheni wote, mulioto kambali na karibu, kwa pamoja, tutoe salazetu kwa mungu, tunafomu sinikiza ndugu yetu ili aweze kupumzika kwa amani. Na kazi zile alizo zifanya alipo kwa humu limuenguni, ya tachangia kupokelewa kwake katika ufalme wa mbinguni. Mashamu, baba mkuu, tuongoze kwa ibada. Majina ni Father George Omondi, tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Water. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you all. And with your my dear brothers, my dear sisters, we are celebrating a wonderful gift a gift of an important person in our lives. This person suffered, died, and he rose again. He's there yesterday, he's there today, and he'll be there forever. He is Jesus Christ. He reminds us in every Mass that our brother here used to celebrate that he has died and he'll rise again. He has done good things to us and he has done wonderful things to our brother here. He invited him into the style of his life to be a priest. He has lived the priesthood, he has died, and he will come again, he will rise again. In obedience, Christ lived and died, and he has done the same. And let us ask that God forgives us our sins of so disobediences, and let us align up with our brother here. And we pray for our parents who took care of him. As we thank God for him, for many things that God has done to him, we thank him also for the parents who took care of him. We thank the congregation that brought him up into this near to closer to Jesus Christ. And we thank everybody here who was part and parcel of his life, Bishop of Kericho, who worked close together to him, with him, the congregation superiors, and even the former classmates. We thank him, Father George, who is receiving him today to send him off well. As a goalkeeper and he was a player, 
he receives him, take care of him, even when he's in the grave. Pray for him that he prays for us. And let us ask for forgiveness of our sins as we say, I confess to Almighty God. Sins, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that the soul of Father Callistus Waflas me you, your servant and priest, whom you honored with the sacred office while he lived in this world, may exalt forever in the glorious home of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is going to be taken by a family member. This is Laura, sister to Father Christ. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The soul of the righteous are in the hands of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, they seem to have died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction, and they are going from us to be their distractions, but they are not at peace. For though in the sight of the men, they were banished. Their hope is full of immorality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them. And like a sacrifice burnt offering, he accepted them. In the time of their their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over people, and the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love. 
because the grace and mercy are upon his elect. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, 
For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable nature must put on the imperishable, and this mortal nature must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, 
the one who is coming to the world. When she said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him. For Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews, who were with her in the house comforting her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they also followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to Jesus, Jesus saw her, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would have not died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Mother, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I say this, that we may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. basi ningeomba mniruhusu nitumie lugha ya Kiswahili kwa sababu ndugu ambaye amelala hapa alikuwa ni mwalimu wangu wa Kiswahili na angeamka sasa hivi angeniambia joji wewe hautoshi mboga nimekufundisha Kiswahili bwana zungumza Kiswahili basi mniruhusu kulikuwa na mfalme mmoja na alikuwa na clown mmoja ambaye kazi yake ilikuwa ni kwenda entertain watu wa ikulu yake kwa jokes za kujinga na mfalme alisema huyu jamani ndio mjinga kabisa katika ufalme wake na kamba bakora moja kama hii askofu akamwambia zunguka na hii bakora katika ufalme wangu mzima na ukikutana na mtu mjinga zaidi yako umpatie 
na huyo jamaa akazunguka miaka mingi hakupata mtu mjinga zaidi yake na akapata habari kwamba mfalme anakufa na akarudi kumpa mfalme taarifa kwamba nimezunguka na sikuona mtu mjinga zaidi yangu ah mfalme alikuwa pale kitandani akamsikiza na akamwambia sawa mimi naenda safari mrefu sana ninakaribia kufa na yule jamaa ambaye alijulikana kama mjinga akamuliza mfalme hii safari mrefu ambayo unaenda ya kifo chako je umejiandaa na muda gani mfalme akasema mimi ni mfalme nijiandae kitu gani watu wangu lazima waende wajiandae kwa ajili yangu na yule jamaa akachukua yule bakora akamrudishia mfalme akaambia mfalme sijaiona mtu mjinga kama wewe eh lazima kujiandaa kwa kifo chako kwa hivyo jameni tujiulize leo tunapomsindikisha huyo ndugu yetu mimi na wewe tumejiandaa namna gani kwa safari yetu ya mwisho kwanza nianze kwa kusema pole kwa sote tuliokuja hapa nimehudhuria mazishi ya mapadri na mara nyingi najiuliza ni kwa nini kanisa linajaa wakati kuna misa ya kumsikikisha padri na jana mhubiri alituambia kwamba kifo cha padri sio kifo cha kawaida kwa sababu watu wanatumbua kwamba padri sio mali yangu ama sio mali ya padri bali tunapata upadri kwa ajili ya kuwatumikia watu kwa hivyo upadri sio wetu na ndio sababu naona hata siku ya upadri watu wanataka kuja kumguza mapadri manake utaona wakati wa harusi hakuna mtu anakuja kushikashika bibi harusi ama bwana harusi hakuna mtu anamshikashika wanashikana wao wawili lakini padri kila mtu anataka kumguza kwa sababu wanajua huyu ni wetu na ndio sababu watu wengi wanakuja katika mazishi ya padri kwa sababu wanajua huyu ni wetu na ametutumikia sisi kwa hivyo nawaambia wote pole hapa kwa sababu najua sote hapa tumeguzwa kwa namna tofauti tofauti na huyu huyu ndugu yetu Kalist lakini kwa njia ya pekee na wapo pole wazazi na Kalist tuliongea naye mara nyingi na nilikuwa naambia kila wakati kumuuliza wazazi wanaendeleaje ananiambia leo tumetoka hospitali kulikuwa na hiki na hiki kwa hivyo aliwapenda wazazi wake na kitu ambacho kilinishangaza alikuwa anaita babake my brother nataka kuona my brother sasa nashangaa wangapi hapa wanaita baba yao my brother wengine hapa hata hawajongea na baba zao kwa miaka no ni kuonyesha kwamba Kalist alimpenda sana baba yake hata akampenda akasema huyu ni ndugu yangu aliwapenda wazazi wake sana alafu tunasema mama uchungu wa mwana haujuae ni mama Yes, wengine hapa tunaweza tukawa na huzuni kwa sababu kali pengine tulikuwa tunaenda kusafiri na yeye tunaenda tu eh <laughs> Okelo eh unajua eh? Na hata manzia alizimia jana sio kwa sababu ya uchungu ama lakini mama aliye mzaa huyu kijana ye ndio unajua katika hili kanisa ndiye na uchungu mkubwa kwa sababu sio kawaida kwamba watoto wanazikwa na wazazi wazazi ndio wanazikwa na watoto kwa hivyo mama tunawaambia pole sana 
na ndugu za kali poleni sana na ndugu wa kapuchini poleni sana na marafiki zake lakini leo vile vile tunapewa matumaini kwamba kifo cha ndugu yetu sio upuzi kama kwa watu wengine bali tunajua kwamba yuko mahali pema sasa tujiulize tumejaa katika hili kanisa wengine wametoka kiricho wengine wametoka mpeketoni wengine wametoka msabaha wengine wametoka sijui wapi mbali mbali pembe zote za nchi hii ya Kenya je umekuja kufanya nini katika hili kanisa nini kimekuleta mtu akikuuliza ulikuja kufanya nini hapa utamwambia ulikuja kufanya nini na ukumbuke tuliambiwa na Paulo lazima tuwe na jibu kila wakati mimi nimekuja hapa kwa sababu tatu sababu ya kwanza nimekuja kumwabudu na kumtukuza Mungu kila tunapokuja kanisani kama wakristo hilo ndilo jambo ambalo tunafanya hatuji pengine kutoa sadaka ni muhimu kutoa sadaka maparoko wanajua hivyo lakini hiyo sio ituleta hapo hatuji kusikiza mahubiri mahubiri unaweza ukasoma huko kwa mtandao yapo mengi unaweza ukasoma lakini jambo ambalo la msingi linatuleta katika kanisa tunakuja kumwabudu Mungu na sisi wakatoliki tuna bahati kubwa kwamba Mungu yuko pamoja nasi katika ikaresti kwa hivyo tunakuja kumwabudu na ndiyo sababu tumekuja hapa kumwabudu na kumtukuza na baba askofu katika utangulizi ametueleza kwamba fadhakali alifanya mambo mengi kama padri kwa hivyo tunamshukuru Mungu kwa zawadi ya huyu ndugu yetu Kalist. Kwa hiyo miaka ambayo tumekaa naye. Yale ambayo askofu ametuambia Mungu ndiyo alimuita katika hii imani na akamuita katika shirika la wakapuchini. Na akamba kipaji cha upadri. Na akamtuma aende kufanya kazi yake. Kwa hivyo tunamshukuru huyu Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya zawadi ya huyu ndugu yetu na hizo karama ambazo alimjalia na tumesikia tangu jana kwamba Kalist alipenda upadri wake alipenda wito wake na mara nyingi nilizungumza naye na uliona kabisa huyu ni mtu ambaye alilewa upadri ni nini na hata alipopata kifo chake hakuwa ameenda kwa ba hakuwa nakimbilia siju anaenda wapi hapana tuliambiwa jana alitoka kuona mgonjwa alikuwa nakimbia katika parokia yake kwa njia ya msalaba na kuweza kuadhimisha misa kwa wakristo wake na vile vile nasikia alikuwa amebeba dawa pia za wazazi kwa hivyo huyu ni mtu ambaye alikufa akifanya kazi yake ambayo Mungu alimwita. Kwa hivyo tunamshukuru sana Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunamwabudu. Na tunamshukuru kwa hiyo miaka ambayo alipatia ya kuweza kuwahudumia watu wake. Jambo la pili. Nimekuja hapa kusali na kumwambia ndugu yetu kwa heri. Nimekuja hapa kumuombea kwa sababu gani huyu ndugu kali amelala hapa ukimpa nyama choma sasa hivi hawezi akakula ukimpa uji hawezi akakunywa lakini kuna kitu kimoja ukimpa kitamsaidia sana na ni sana na ndiyo sababu sisi wa Kristu tunafanya misa ya wafu kwa nini tunafanya misa ya wafu? Kwa sababu tunaamini kwamba huyu ndugu yetu Kalist 
alikuwa ni mwanadamu kama mimi na wewe alikuwa mdhaifu kama mimi na wewe na kwa hivyo anahitaji maombi ili kama kuna kosa ambalo alifanya kama mwanadamu tunamuomba Mungu katika hii sadaka takatifu ya mwanae aweze kumuondolea hilo kosa aweze kumuondolea hiyo dhambi aweze kumpokea katika uzima wa milele hilo ndilo jambo ambalo nimenileta hapa pia ili niweze kumuombea hata mimi nitakapofukufa sitaki watu waje hapa kunisifu we George alikuwa hivi alikuwa mzuri sana yuko mbinguni mbinguni kwenu ndio anapeleka watu eh mbinguni ni Mungu anapeleka watu kwa hivyo ndio tumekuja hapa kumuomba Mwenyezi Mungu tafadhali huyu kale tulimpenda sana na pengine kwa sababu ya binadamu wake alikukosea tunaomba msamehe uweze kumpokea kuna hadithi moja nilisoma ambayo naipenda sana ya mtakatifu Malaki huyu mtakatifu Malaki alikuwa na dada yake na walikosana na dada yake na akawa hajiongea na yeye kwa muda alafu dada yake akafa akazikwa na huyu mtakatifu Malaki alipokuwa anasoma misa akawa anaona image ya mtu anakuja kanisani pale amevaa nguo nyeusi lakini haingii ndani na mtakatifu Malaki akajiuliza nini naendelea hapa na baadaye akakumbuka ni siku 30 zimepita tangu nilipotoa misa kwa ajili ya dada yangu kwa hivyo akasema wacha niache nianze kumtolea misa huyu dada yangu na akaanza kutoa misa akaanza kutoa misa kumwombea dada yake na mara akaona sura ya dada yake imeanza kubadilika na mwisho kabisa akaona dada yake ametoa zile nguo nyeusi sijui kwa nini zilikuwa nyeusi sijui kwa nini shetani anakuanga mweusi sina habari akaingia dada yake na mwisho akamwona dada yake pale juu akiwa na nguo nyeupe sana na amefurahi kwa hivyo akaona kwamba misa inafanya kazi kwa hivyo nawahimiza ndugu zangu tusichoke kutoa misa kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu marehemu kwa sababu hii misa inawasaidia ili waweze kuoshwa dhambi zao na waweze kupokewa katika maisha ya milele jambo la mwisho ambalo nimenileta hapa kanisani ni kutafakari kuhusu mimi na safari yangu nimejiandaa na mna gani manake hatujui kifo kitakuja nini tunaona hawa kina madha walikuwa ni marafiki sana wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliwatembelea kila mara lakini hii haikuzuia kwamba wangepatwa na msiba Lazaro alikuwa ni rafiki yake lakini alikufa kwa hivyo tunaona kwamba msiba ni kwa ajili yetu sisi sote na wakaanza kujiuliza maswali na kumuuliza Yesu wewe kama ungekuwa hapa hili jambo halingetendeka huyu Lazaro ni rafiki yako na wewe badala uje uliposikia tu ni mgonjwa unazunguka zunguka huko ukifanya miujiza yako na rafiki yako wako hapa anaugua kwa hivyo nasi leo tunajiuliza maswali mengi kama mu, yes, kama kali alipenda sana Yesu na alikuwa anakimbia kufanya kazi yake kwa nini akamuita kwa hivyo tuna maswali mengi na kama tulivyoambiwa jana hatuna majibu majibu tutamuuliza Mungu tutakapofika huko mbinguni hatuna majibu ni maswali tuko nayo mengi lakini tayari tumepewa jibu na Yesu hapa amenawaambia your brother will rise again 
Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Kwa hivyo tunamini ndugu yetu Christ ataishi. Kwa sababu yeye amemwamini Yesu Kristu na akaamini yale Yesu aliyafundisha na akajitolea kuyafundisha. Kwa hivyo nijiulize mimi uhusiano wangu na Mungu kuna namna gani? Je, mimi kama padri nafanya kazi yangu ya upadri na namna gani? Je, nafanya kama Kalist ambaye alijitolea kabisa? Shirika letu lilipofungua parokia huko Kericho. Waliangalia wakaona ndugu ambaye anaweza huko ni Kalist. Manake alikuwa ni mtu shupavu, energetic, alikuwa na nguvu ya kufanya kazi. Na mara nyingi aliniomba nimtembelee huko lakini sikupata nafasi. Lakini wale wamefika kule wameniambia alitransform that place. Na akafanya kazi mzuri sana hata akawa dean kwa sababu yeye alijua maana ya upadri na kazi ndio muita. Kwa hivyo leo mimi napewa changamoto nijiulize. De, mimi najitolea namna gani katika kazi yangu ya upadri? Je, natumia upadri kama jambo ya kujionyesha kwamba mimi ni bora zaidi ama natumia kipawa nilichopewa cha upadri kuweza kuwatumikia watu? Je, watu waliokimbia kunishikashika nilipopadilishwa? Je, leo wanaweza kukukaribia kunishika kama watasema huyu fadha ai hatukutarajia mambo kama haya. Kwa hivyo huyu fadha ananipa changamoto leo. Wewe kama Mkristo unaishi Ukristo wako namna gani? Unajiandaa namna gani kwa safari yako ya mwisho? Je, unaamini kwake bwana wetu Yesu Kristu ama unaishi namna gani kwa hivyo basi leo tunapewa changamoto tujiulize tumejiandaa namna gani katika hiyo safari ambayo inakuja na itakuja kupende usipende ukimbie wapi kifo kitakupata nasikia kuna mzee mmoja alikutana na kifo Nairobi asubuhi na jamaa akakimbia Mombasa alipoona na kifo. Na sasa kifo akakutana na bibi yake. Akamuuliza Mungai yuko wapi? Tulikuwa na point na yeye na yeye huko Mombasa. Akasema ah ashatangulia Mombasa. Wakakutana huko. Tutakutana huko. Kwa hivyo kifo kitakuja. Uende wapi? Ruke juu uende wapi kitakuja. Lakini muhimu swali ni kwamba tumejiandaa namna gani? Uhusiano wangu na Mungu uko namna gani? Kwa hivyo tumuombe huyo ndugu yetu Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kumrehemu, aweze kumpokea katika maisha yake ya uzima wa milele na sisi pia atupe hekima ili tuweze kujiandaa vyema kwa safari yetu ya mwisho. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kisimame tu Sali sala ya nasadiki
sababu ya imani iliyo mwelekeza ndugu yetu kwa Mungu Baba hata wakati huu wa kwa tukumbuke ile imani inayo tuwezesha sasa hizi kufanya huduma ya kanisa katika kufunga katika kuomba msamao wa dhambi na vile vile katika kutoa I believe in one God the one be God and son of God born of the father before all ages one God light from light true God from true God begotten of him that those who have died may be received into the company of the chosen ones in heaven lord hears Chiranganyi pia aje mkristo kutoka Chiranganyi aje na moja wa ndugu wadogo wa Kapchini njoo hapa God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We humble ourselves before you, Lord, this morning. To thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you've given unto us. The blessing of the gift of life. We know our Father Calistas also wanted to see this, this day. But it's not possible because you have chosen him and taken him back home. We want to thank you, Lord, because you've comforted us. We want to thank you, Lord, because you've brought us this far. Thank you for the word, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, because of the good shepherd that you, you, you chose. He responded to your call, Lord, and he has lived the life of that uh, good servant. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to pray, Lord, that you may uh, rest this soul in eternity. Thank you, Lord, because you've done it with them. Thank you, Lord, because they have accepted to release Father Calistus. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know what Father Calistus has done to us at Stellanet Parish. You know all the projects. You know all the couples that he has solemnized their marriage. You know all the children that he has baptized. You know, all, if it's been blessing all our houses, oh Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know the youth who were touched so much 
because of the passing on of our Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are not going to judge you, but we just accept and leave the word that has been preaching to us. Continue, Lord, journey with his parents. His father, his mother, told us that we, we are not going to say anything because God has said. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless them and heal them, O oh Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, Mungu na baba wetu ni asubuhi njema tukwapambele zako tukachukuru kwa mama mengi umetujalia tunataka kushukuru kwa zawadi ya maisha yetu na kwa njia ya kipekee tunataka kushukuru kwa zawadi ya padri wetu Karisi wewe mwenyewe ulimuita ili aweze kufanya kazi yako na kufanya kondoo wako waweze kukufikia Mungu wetu tunakuomba kwa njia ya unyenyekevu roho yake Mungu wetu umhurumie apate kumziko ya amani na bwana utusikie bwana anatoa kuomba utusikie the captain fire will be followed by a sister of the little sisters of st francis heavenly father we thank you for the gift of brother callist in our congregation through his zealous work he has administered your people and proclaimed your kingdom and your glory. Through the intercession of our seraphic fathers in France, we ask you that you may admit him to eternal life. To this we pray to the Lord. Heavenly King, we come unto you. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for each and every one that has been here today to comfort our family. We come unto you in a special way. We put our parents unto your hands, dear Lord of glory. You know what they are going through. We pray for all the sick that are suffering in different ways, that you may send healing upon them. We pray for all the brothers, the priests, the bishops, all the leaders of the church that you may continue to be with them, give them strength in each and everything they do, that you may lead them so that they can do it according to your will. We thank you, Lord, for the journey mercy that you've been able to grant each and every one of us to make it to this place. We pray, dear Lord of glory, that you may continue to bless us as we continue to celebrate the life of our dear brother. We thank you, we honor your name because you love him. And you loved him more than we did. We pray for the soul that you may give him eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For our friends and benefactors who have died, they may receive the gift of eternal life. For this we pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For the victims of COVID-19 and other diseases in our religious life and service to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Eternal raise grant unto them, O oh Lord. May they rest in peace. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. It is a time for offer tree. Nakabishua who mtorea buwana kile ya mewabariki nacho. Okay, the 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 utratibu hapa samahani naambiwa na father george utratibu hapa offer to rua ni baada ya misa okay so kwa hivyo tunaendelea 
kwaya the offertories of tamas okay before finals you have tamas kwa sababu unaweza kuibia no lakini it is uh, before the final blessing okay yeah here in the church
sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through these holy mysteries, our brother, Father Callistus, who have flushed me, your servant priest, may behold with clarity the air forever what he faithfully ministered here on earth through christ our lord Amen. and the lord be with you and with your spirit. lift up your hearts lift them up to the lord. let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. 
For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. To this, in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Bishop, Bishop Alfred here present, the order of bishops, all the clergy, are the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Father Callistas Wafula Simeo, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Run that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died, and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, 
and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching with us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we are waiting the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity in according to your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your saints. Let us offer to each other the sign of takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be. Remember the body of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life.
wakati wa kupokea mwili wa Yesu katika ekaristia na tunawaomba e, mtulie tu hapo mafadha watakuja mahali mlipo hata huko nje na kwa sababu sisi tumetoka pande tofauti ndugu Kalistas alikuwa na marafiki ambao sio tu wa Katoliki tungewaomba wale ambao sio wa Katoliki ama Mkatoliki ambaye hapokei usione ya kwamba siku ya leo ni siku yako ya pekee unaweza kuja kupokea tunakuomba ubaki tu vile vile unaishi mpaka utakapofunguliwa kupokea kwa hivyo ndugu wenzetu ambao si wa katoliki he, he, what we are receiving is not open to everyone but once you are initiated then you can be allowed to receive just be content with your present situation and may god bless you wherever you are
Let us be upstanding for post-communion prayer. Let us let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation. We implore your kindness, O God, for Father Callistus Wafulasimiu, your servant and priest, that as you made him a steward of your mysteries on earth, so you may bring him to be nourished by their truth and reality as unveiled in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
kila mtu aanze kujiandaa tutakuja tuta masanduku yatawekwa karibu na ninyi mengine lakini kuna masanduku mengine hapa mnakuja mnapita alafu mnarudi sehemu yenu ya kukea ya kukaa karibuni kwaya please lead us with wafatori him
Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for your love. And at this point, we are happy to enter into another uh, phase of our celebration of the Eucharist. We thank God who has visited us in a very particular way. Now we are going to have speeches, and, but you would want to begin with the eulogy uh, or life history of our brother which will be read to us by uh, Father Nicholas uh, Osuka. Welcome. Brothers and sisters, I would like to give thanks to God for this opportunity that we are able to eulogize a brother, Father Callistus, to me and to us whom he formed as the first stage. He was more than a brother, he was a priest and a father and a friend to us. The birth of Brother Callistus. Father Callistus was born on 24th September 1973 at Capsina in Kitale. His parents are Malim Benedict Simiu and Mama Sabina Nafula. He was the second born in a family of 13. His siblings are Jen, Matrine, Josephine, Jacqueline, Kelly, Fintan, Sister Irene of the Little Sisters of St. Francis, Laura, Delet Charity, Myra, Marion, Karen, and Diana. His journey of faith. The journey of faith of Father Callistus began when his parents, who being cradle Catholics, took him to the church for his second birth into the family of God through baptism. Education. Father Callistus joined Cabolet Primary School in 1983 and finished class eight in 1990. After passing well, he was admitted at Mother of Apostles Minor Seminary in Eldoret from 1991 to 1994. From early childhood, Father Callistus wanted to become a priest. The desire of becoming priest led him to join the Society of the Catholic Apostolate, better known as the Palatines, after the founder of the congregation, St. Vincent Palotti. He was sent to Arusha in Tanzania to begin his priestly formation, where he took philosophical studies for three years, from 1996 to 2000. At the Seminary of the Holy Ghost Fathers, where he graduated with a diploma in philosophy and religious studies. Though the childhood desire of becoming a priest was still very much with Father Callistus, after careful discernment, he did not feel called to embrace the Palatine's motto, quotes, the love of Christ urges us. He felt called to the Franciscan way. Thus, after his graduation, he requested for a leave, and it was given to him with a very favorable recommendation letter 
though reluctantly. Following still the desire of his heart, he knocked at the door of the Capuchins with the request to be received in the order of the poor man of Assisi, St. Francis, since captions are open to all, even the seemingly incorrigible. Father Callistas was warmly received and sent to Mpeketoni to begin his religious formation. After two years of intense formation under his formator, Father Daniel Carrao, and a team of other able formators, he was found fit to proceed to the most difficult tier in religious formation, namely the novitiate tier in Mahenge, Tanzania. Upon his return to Kenya, in 2004, he joined Tangaza University College, a campus of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, to pursue theological studies where he graduated with baccalaureate in theology. Later on, on 24th April 2008, he was ordained a priest by Bishop Maurice Crowley of the Catholic Diocese of Kitale, who happened to be his rector at the Minor Seminary. Between 2014 and 2017, he was again in class at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, where he graduated with a master's degree in project planning and management. His priestly life. After his ordination to priesthood, Father Callistas was assigned the task of accompanying the young men, including myself and Brother Simon. Together with Father Walter, they formed as well, and I will request to remember specific words that he used to encourage us, that this is an international congregation, therefore you need to know how to use a fork. So he taught us how to use a fork, that we must hold the fork with the left hand. At the same time, he used to encourage us as a father, especially myself, that Father Osuka, eh, Brother Osuka, you know, when you are going to the novitiate, they do not allow people who are under 50 kilograms weight. Therefore, he was a good and a, a well-prepared formator. And therefore, uh, he was accompanying us to become captains at St. Francis Moja Friar in Peketoni. In 2013, he was appointed the bus of St. Padre Pio Friary Formation House at Langata, here in Nairobi. In the meantime, he served as one of the counselors of the superior. As a true son of St. Francis in 2015, together with Father Simon Budi, he was sent to go and start a new parish at Telanet, the Catholic Diocese of Kericho. The parish was so new that it did not have even a place to house these men of God. They had to seek an alternative place to lay their heads at night with the discalced Carmelites fathers who neighbored the new parish and who are more than ready to house these poor sons of St. Francis. With sheer determination and trusting in the Lord, within a year or so, they had managed with the help of many friends, well-wishers and parishioners of this new parish to build a house which until now has no equal in the whole diocese. At the same time, he used to remind us, brothers, when you do good thing and ask, they ask you who was your formator, please hurriedly mention Brother Callistas. But when you do a wrong thing, never mention my name. Death. Father Callistas was always energetic and he enjoyed good health all along. As a caring priest, on Friday 25th March 2022, he drove together with his cook to Eldoret to go and visit his parishioner who had been admitted at Medhill Hospital. After they were through with their day's engagements, they started their journey back to Kericho in order to catch up with the way of the cross being a Friday in Lent. As they were leaving the outskirts of Eldoret, a cow entered the road and as father tried to avoid ramming into it, the cow veered off the road and it rolled several times. By the time the dust settled, both Father Callistas and his cook Godfrey Auda lay there unconscious until a good Samaritan came and helped them to get to the hospital. Upon arrival at the hospital, Father Callistas' situation was found to be worse and was immediately taken to the ICU. He lay there in coma at the ICU and the following day on Saturday 26th March 2022, at about 4 p.m., Sister Death visited him and took him back to his maker. His cook survived the accident and lives to one day tell the story after his recovery. We pray for the quick recovery of Godfrey and eternal repose to our brother Callistas. 
Eternal rest grant unto Father Callistus, O Lord. May he rest in peace. Thank you, thank you, Brother Osuka. As you can see from the program, we have a dedication to Brother Callistus, but before we get to that, we have some few uh, communications, tributes which have been sent to us. We are just, we will, I will just mention the names of those who have sent us the tributes because we cannot read them here. At least you will have some, something to uh, make you remain connected with uh, Father Callistas when you will be reading these tributes. Um, just let me mention them. Uh, we have a, tri a, a word of condolences and tribute from our general minister from Rome, uh, Brother Roberto Genuin. We have also uh, a condolences and tribute from um, our African brothers in charge of the Capuchins in Africa, namely uh, Brother Robert, uh, Nobel and uh, Brother Killian. We have also a word of condolences from the Capuchin uh, Provincial Minister of Tanzania, Father Kalistas Tesha. We also have uh, a communication from our brother in New York uh, at the United Nations. Brother Ayodi, Benedict Ayodi, has also sent his uh, communication of condolences. We also have a word of condolences from our fellow confrier from the province of California, Brother Joe Seraphim. We also have a word from our fellow confrier from the Capuchin province of Pittsburgh, United States, Brother Thomas Betts. We also have a communication from Papua New Guinea, the Custos of Papua New Guinea, Brother Modest Erigi, and we have a word of condolences from our mother province, that is Malta province, Brother Effie. Then we have another one from His Excellency the Nuncio, uh, the paper representative here in Kenya. And finally, we have a communication, not finally, final, uh, the, the not final, uh, last but not least. Uh, of course, we have a, a, a one from Brother Isidore Peter Hans, who happened to be our vice provincial sometimes back. We also have a communication of condolences from his lordship, the Bishop of Malindi Diocese, Wilbert Lago, and uh, many others. Okay? So we thank all of you. Now, the, this dedication, please, um, the, it is a song by the, by the friars over there. The friars means simply brothers. We just want to complicate, you know, vocabularies, but it means brothers, okay? So, Brother Charles, is he? Brother Charles is a musician. This is a song which he has composed himself, and I am the one who taught him music. So you can watch. <laughs> Thank you. 
also a communication from our brother in, uh, Johann, in South Africa, brother Sifuna, Joseph Sifuna. Now we uh, kindly ask uh, the PPC chair from Telanet, PPC Telanet to come and give her uh, Condolences, Karibu Mama, and uh, we try to be brief, please, because of time. Kuna wengine watarudi mbali sana, watami baada na safiri. Karibu Mama.
His Grace, His Lordship, our Bishop Anyolo, our Kericho Bishop Alfred Rotich, and all the clergy, including the sisters and brothers, the family of our beloved uh, Father Callistus, friends, and all the Christians. God is good and all the time. So let me take this uh, shortest opportunity that I've been given to thank God so much for the Father that He has brought us and for this chance that I've given, I've been given uh, to share and celebrate the life of our beloved Father Callistus. I want to say I thank God because he has uh, comforted us. He has journeyed with us since the time this uh, incident occurred. And I want to say we are strong in the Lord. First, let me thank the family of Father Callistus who nurtured him and allowed him when he responded to his call to serve the Lord. Thank you so much, Father, Mother, and the whole brothers and sisters, the whole extended family. I want to thank God also because uh, Father Kalistas accepted with his brother Simon to come and open that small parish in Telanet in 2015, which is now six years old. But I want to say uh, Father Kalistas did uh, the work of God. It's just like somebody running 100 meters. That shortest period of six years, he has done a marvelous work. Apart from uh, finishing the church that had been uh, built, they also constructed, together with the Christians, the priests' residence, which they didn't forget. Somewhere that when the sisters also come, they all feel at home. It's just a marvelous place, wonderful, and we thank God because of that knowledge and that wisdom that he gave to him. Let me thank him also because he gave him Brother Simon, whom we are praying for him so much. They were just brothers. They did work together, and we want to believe the Lord that he is going to all Father Simon in his right hand, and he'll be able continue with the work that was left behind by his brother. Apart from uh, building that residence, Father Callistas also uh, has built other substations, sub-centers, totaling 10. We now have 10, uh, 9 plus the Telanet, 10 stations in Telanet, and all of them, there is no center, even the smallest at the far end must get mass every Sunday. I don't know that gift that gave to them. They, even when there are two or three, so imagine that smallest church, which was started a few years, maybe two, but they would get mass every day during uh, the small Christian uh, meetings. If they should be mass, they are there. They have gone to all the houses, all the homes of all the Christians in Telanet Parish. If it's time to bless the houses, they do it in one or two weeks. The, 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 the catechism, the CMA, the CWA seminars, the, the youth, the PMC, all of them were running concurrently and no department was left behind. He also had a gift. If he would be the parish, uh, a priest of this church, he would call the register. So in the whole ten stations of Telanet, there is none whom he does know, know by his or her name. Even children who were born the other day, he knows, he has a register of all his Christians. In the old Telanet parish, in the old Telanet parish, he would even call me and call all my children and know if they are, we are all there. And if my husband is not there, he will ask me, Madam Motareta, where is 
Charles Rono or Brenda, where is Bernard? He would call the register. If you would come, if you not come to church, the following week he will ask you where you were. So he was just gifted, and we want to thank the Lord so much because of him. So other projects, purchase of new lands, building of new churches, and so much within this uh, few months of this year, the processing of the title deeds of all the church lands in every parish council, he would just have that agenda of church lands. Even on Tuesday, there was the signing of a, a, an agreement with Capture by Center of the church land after he had passed on. There was already uh, some process of uh, ensuring that all the stations have title deeds. And also the projects of the church, we were all uh, doing. And he was even challenging me. I came from Kipchimchim Parish, and he would say, how, how many years did you take to build that mega magnificent church in Kipchimchim? 60 plus years. Me, in these first 10 years of Telanet, I'll build one. So he was being focused. Before the end of these 10 years, he would have built a mega magnificent church in Telanet Parish. One other project that he was doing is ensuring that uh, the CMA, the CWA were commissioned. The youth seminars. He was even organizing a youth seminar to start from 8th of this month. And he had already uh, asked because he wanted all the youth to come and to be hosted in the church. On 16th of this month, that was on a Wednesday, I, we don't know why he called all the area councillors of Telanet Parish. He called us and had a meeting with us for almost three hours, telling us, know your responsibility. Me, Father Kalis, will not be here with you all through. I will go. And I'll just take that little bag of mine. I will even go and may not come back to this parish. But I want you to, know, you to know all your responsibilities. If you are the moderator of a, a, a small Christian community, what is your role there? If you are the treasurer, what are you doing? Can things run? On 20th, we are the parish council. He called us, all the parish uh, councillors, asked each and every moderator, each and every uh, official of the church in every station our role and what are our projects. He told us, know your work. Service to God is service. Service to humanity, service to God. Kila wakati wanasema punda afe na mzigo ifike. He would always say that. That I, it's not a must I take any lunch, it's not a must I even, even my, this, my, 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 my cans, we are, are capuchin. I can even have one for the whole year, but I want Mzigo Ifike, Penye Inafika, na Punda Afe. So he would sacrifice, just like uh, they say the Capuchins, the poor uh, Franciscan uh, congregation. That is how he lived his life. He would just take water. If there's nothing, he could not even complain. The other day, there was somebody who came to the parish and took some shoes that were there. Kwani huyu mtu wako na hata hiki atu yangu kizuri. Haya mbona akachukua hiyo moja tu ili ilikuwa nayo. That was on 19th. So he was just so humble with full of love for everyone. There is no house that he has not gone into in Telanet Parish. The PMC, we had PMC on that 26th that he was passing on. We had the PMC competition. And when the children came and did not find him, Wakasema sasa, nani atatupikia chai? Huh? Nani atatupatia hata maji ya kukunywa kama Father Kalista yuko? But we have assured them that Father Simon is there. He will do it now that he has rested. St. Paul says in the book of Corinthians that if you, can, if you have the gift of moving mountains, if you have the gift 
of even speaking in tongues and all those gifts. But if you don't have love, all will be useless. So Father Kalis used to do his work with a lot of love for everyone, even members of other churches, each and every person in the community. So I want to say that we've lost a great priest, but we want to thank the Lord for what he has done. Our prayer is that we prepare. Ata uwa natuambia, hii maisha yako, ukikufa utaweka kwa jeneza inagani. That is what he would say. That you live a life that uh, is worth before God. It will determine how you'll be buried. It will determine which type of a casket that will be bought for you. Katuambia ata andika, mutuambie, we kila mtu uki, uki kwa, kwa jumuia ujitayarishe so that when your time comes you'll be ready I, muzigo imefika because the word has reached us he would say as priests we are happy when they opened the, the parish there were only few people at the front seats ikaenda baka katikati but now the church was full and that is why he wanted to by another, to build another one because there were Christians outside uh, because the church was full and now he challenged us in that parish council me I'm happy we are doing our work with Father Simon the church is full the project is yours do your part we do our part so I want to say we are praying for Godi which, who was also so close with him so that uh, we, 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 we still continue working with them. To the capuchins, the shoe of Father Callist is so big. We just pray that if you will be sending somebody to assist Father Mbuzi, check on that shoe. <laughs> check on that shoe. Otherwise, I want to thank the Lord so much today. I'm also privileged to tell you in this congregation that I'm happy Bishop Agnolo once as a deacon was in a, my home. We hosted him in our home, Tarapa told it. Uh, and also Bishop Alfred Lotich solemnized my marriage. <laughs> and now this great man, I was working under him as the parish moderator. I want to thank the Lord so much. I'm so humble. I pray for the family, the parents of Father Callist, and I urge everyone, let's do our work as Christians, as a parent, as a youth. Do your part, and God will do the rest for you. Thank you so much, and may God continue comforting us. My name is Mrs. Margaret Charles Rono. A better round of applause to our... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, our able moderator of St. Padre Pio Parish in Telanet. We are happy uh, you have challenged us. In fact, I was thinking about that, but I said there are many of us who have even a bigger shoe than the one which Father Kalista's had. Praise God. Yeah. In fact, someone commented yesterday and said that anyone who has ever been served by a capuchin, you know, a capuchin or capuchins, they get addicted to the capuchins. They get addicted. And they, I asked them why. They, she said, we don't know. We don't know. I think all of you here, you came because you are addicted to the capuchins, yeah? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful exposition uh, for our brother. We are happy to hear that this man here was a gentleman in the ministry, in the vineyard of the Lord. We, we are grateful. Um, that now we call upon the one member uh, from the family to come and one member from the family who is ready to come and say a word. Laura Karibu. Bishop. 
shogu wetu mapadri watawa wa Kristo wote ambao wameweza kusafiri toka mbali ndugu na dada zetu tumsifu Yesu Kristo Nimesimama yeah. hapa mbele kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu najua ni mapenzi yake yametimika I don't know when my day will come I don't know if I'll be ready like my brother was I'm sure he was ready The last time I spoke with my brother was on the 22nd Before then he said mass for mom and dad on the 17th of this past month And after the mass I remember I called him to congratulate him for staying strong and making it to the end of that mass for mom and dad As I was talking to him Father Weweru was just taking off Hakuanajua kwamba namtambua ni kwa sababu nafuata caption TV nikiwa in the US I know I haven't introduced myself my name is Laura Bohamo My husband is from Tanzania I'm standing here on behalf of my family On my way here I've been praying and asking the Lord to give me the courage I see my sister over there she's down Sister Irene Carlis was like a twin There are several times I will talk to Sister Irene and she will be like hold on let me talk to Carlis and then I'll call you But I promise you my sister we are here for you God loves us so much we can't thank him enough we don't know what was going to come next but I think amevuna wakati wake na neno lake lihimidiwe my brother has done his job my brother was always on the go every time i call him ako barabarani na anakuambia ni kwamba sijapata hata muda wa kufanya chochote because he is serving the people of god he did it he did everything he could do i remember my husband trying to talk to him and we be like every time i talk to my brother my husband will be like can we send some dollars for him to continue to pray for us and he definitely told us we are always in his prayers i have no doubt i'm staying strong because i know my brother has been there to pray for us there was a time i spoke with him on the phone because i knew mom and dad are sick and i felt like it's time for us to make a trip to come home to that it came so soon the trip that was there was supposed to be in june with my family because i knew my kids will be out of school i can bring all the kids to go see their grandpa and grandma but it didn't happen here i am i'm staying strong because i know they are watching as the mass has been going on they are watching with us i know it's late at night my daughter is up watching up my daughter will remember uncle will always say i give her the phone to talk to her and i'm with her jambas jambas i'm waiting for you to come twenty to the chips na kuku and we'll be paying in american dollars anyway i have two boys my older son every time we watch the caption tv he will tell his younger brother Eli I'm going to be the pope and you're going to be the bishop I hope one day I'll stand over here being the mother to the pope and the bishop although my husband feels like ugo lazima iendelee but hatujui Mungu ana mpango gani Bishop Rotich I know you don't know me but I know your family Karo Stella and Chris Rotich they have been with me they lived in Kansas they moved to California I thank each and every one of you it's a small world you might think like when the US we don't communicate we don't do anything we are always there it's just for people to choose 
what they want to do in life. Tunasimama ni kwa ajili tunajua kwamba people are praying for us. Mama and dad msipe moyo. Father Carlos alikuwa ni ile yenye kwamba anatushughulikia kama familia. Making sure the parents are making it to their appointments, being there all the time. When my sister sister Irene called me on the 25th on a Friday, I had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. Kani pigi akanuliza, umeongea na mtiote nyumbani. Nika muambia no. Nika muliza vipi. Akanyambia kwamba, nina wagonjwa. Nika muliza wagonjwa kina nani. Akanyambia, I have father, Carlis, na godi hapa. Na mshukuru mungu ni kwa sababu. Tangu, every time I've come here, I've been able, my brother has been able to take me to several places that he has served. Nimefunga safari kuenda mpikitoni, halipukua mpikitoni. Tuka nenda paka lamu. Nilipukuja, walipukua ndiyo kanisa wanaanza. Father Patrick was accommodating them. We spent the night at Father Patrick's place as my brother was making the trips to this little church. Father Simon was there to say mass for us one time. Mungu wazidi kukupa mkufu. I know it's not easy, but he will see us through. My sister, Sister Irene, kaka amekumzika. We need you too. Tunakupenda. Mama and dad, we love you. God is with us as a family. Tunajua wakamba wezi ya katuwacha. Trust in the Lord all the time. My sisters, my brothers, wherever you are, you can stand up just to say hi to everybody. Just wave from wherever you are. Msipe moeo, mungu wa natipenda. Hame mchikuwa ndukietu, it was not the time that it was the time for him to go. Atujui ya kwetu itakuwa bibi. Lakini I celebrate the life of my brother. I celebrate, I rejoice because najui ya kwamba. It's well. Internal rest grant to him, O Lord. Amen. May he rest in peace. Internal rest grant to him, O Lord. Amen. May he rest in peace. Internal rest grant to him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. I have no doubt you will be there. We'll travel back to the US. You'll be there to support mom and dad. I have no doubt. We love you all so much and God bless you. Asante, Dada Laura. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, thank you for your courage. Uh, before I call the next uh, speaker, uh, that is uh, one person on behalf of Rakita. This is an association of Franciscans from Kitale. Uh, may I communicate to you that uh, through that association, uh, which uh, uh, had opened a WhatsApp group, um, we were able to receive a, a sum of, to, of Kenya shillings, 91,000. Uh, so we thank you so much. We have received that. Our Basa has already credited that. We are grateful for, uh, to Brother Shumila and uh, Brother Nyapola for spearheading that. Now, can we have the representative from Frakita? Welcome, sister. Sister Mitei Karibu, the sister of the Little Sisters of St. Francis. Your Grace, Bishop Amnolo. Your Lordship, Bishop Rotich the clergy, the religious men and women, 
Taifa la Mungu wote tuliopo hapa tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo tena. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. I stand here on behalf of our fraternity of Franciscans from Kitale. It is called Frakita. Franciscans of Kitale. The members are the Capuchin Friars from Kitale and the Little Sisters of St. Francis from Kitale. This is a family group whereby we meet every year, we pray together, we visit our families and pray with our families. There are days we, are, we meet with all our parents having mass with them. For us, we don't know what to say. Father Kali was one of the pillars. We are like, what do we do this year? We have our program. One of us is not there. But we trust in God that God knows best and he, he harvests at his own time. So on behalf of the fraternity and the 18 families where we come from, I bring condolence to the family, to the Capuchin friars, and to all of us who knew Father Callist. It is hard. Our family members at home, they are still in shock as we are today. They are bringing condolences and prayers to the Capuchin fraternity and also to the Christians of Telanet. Every member of our family, the 18 families, they all know Father Callist, even the youngest child because of his humor, because of his love, because of his, we cannot name it. So on behalf of the Frakita Fraternity, allow me to read the tribute. We thank God from whom every good gift come for bringing us safely this far. We are all struck by your demise Brother Kali, you gave no one a last farewell, nor ever said goodbye to any one of us. You are gone before we knew it, and the Lord God who holds each one of us by the hand knows why. Ever since God our Father called you back home, you departed from us, life has never been the same. It seems to have been a dream. Yet reality in us now dawns when we see you lie here in this casket. However, the scriptures comfort us and assure us that one day we shall meet again. Brother Kali, now that you are gone, you are no longer here to share life with us. The bond we had together, bond of love, a bond of care and compassion. We miss you and we shall they dearly miss you in our annual fraternity events, wherein we visit our families celebrating the Eucharist and sharing life together with our family members. By your demise, our family and fraternity chain is broken and nothing seems to be the same. But as God calls each one of us one by one, the very chain will link again. In our hearts you hold a place no one else can feel. In our fraternity you hold a place no one can feel. You have been one of our strongest pillars. With our hearts heavy with tears, we bid you farewell. Go well, our brother. Go well, Brother Kali. Pass our regards to Mother Anna Simiu, one of our fraternity members who went to be with the Lord four years ago. We thank God he made you our loving and caring brother while here on earth. May he reward you with eternal life and eternal bliss forever. Raha ya milele umpe evwana. Apumzike kwa amani. Raha ya milele umpe evwana. Apumzike kwa amani. Amen. Raha ya milele umpe evwana. Namwanga wa milele umangazie. Apumzike kwa amani. Amen.
Asante Dada Mitei. Uh, though we have a brother who will give a vote of thanks, allow me to acknowledge the following who have assisted us in a big way through, though they, they, some of them are not present today, but they sent their support, financial support. We acknowledge the support we received from Dr. Cecilia Gidenji from Peketoni of 10,000. We acknowledge the friends of Father Karau, the one speaking to you, who sent 10,000 from St. Patrick uh, Church in Kiamba. We also thank the Chameleon Sisters who gave us a contribution of 2,000. We also thank the, the friends of our superior over there who gave a contribution of 28,000. We thank our Christians from Ruiru who sent us a contribution of 20,000 through their PPC and yeah, uh, and contributions are, sti are still welcome, okay? Yes, we thank the sisters of, uh, I think these are sisters of school? School sisters, oh, yeah? School sisters, 3,000, thank you so much. And um, those who have made pledges, uh, make sure that you fulfill them. Okay, anyway. Uh, but you don't have pledges. Now, at this point, I would like us to welcome Brother Simon Bodhi. Brother Simon Bodhi is the one who, uh, together with Father Callistas, we are sent to Telanet to, to start that new parish, and uh, uh, he is also a wonderful man. This, he is young, but a very wonderful uh, soul. Uh, so he's, uh, he's my disciple. Yeah. <laughs> Your Grace, uh, Bishop Philip Agnolo, Your Lordship, Bishop uh, Anthony, sorry, Alfred Rotich, uh, Bishop of Kericho, uh, dear brothers and sisters, uh, family members of uh, our beloved brother, Father Kalis Tuafula, and all people of God, God is good. And all the time, I wish not. I wish not to say much, but I will say uh, that uh, what has been said about Father Calist is true. I have known him for 20 years since we started formation, but for the last six and a half years we have worked together. We started the parish, uh, the night parish together. Every day, 6:40 6, uh, in the morning, we had the morning prayers together. We used to have mass together every day in the morning. And on the day when I saw him last, or oh, that is uh, on Tuesday the 22nd, we had morning prayers, then mass. Then we had an hour of adoration. But for him, due to the parish duties, he went out to communicate with some Christians. Then after that, I was to leave for the parish retreat in Royal Parish. I found him there uh, seated on the sofa and he told me do where the salama to taunana. The next time I had, uh, the next, uh, that was the last time we talked. Because the next time uh, when I was doing, uh, during the adoration, uh, the last hour of the retreat, I found there were so many missed calls on my phone and there was one man saying it is urgent. So I called and then I was told that he had an accident and he's unconscious. We well, have to thank the priest from Mother of Apostle in a seminary who rushed quickly to help and receive in the hospital and many other people, the well wishers, people who rescued them from the scene of the accident. Until now we do not know the names of the people but we have heard there are some tutors from uh, KMTC in uh, Kapsabet we don't, but they were rushed to the different hospitals. Father Kali was rushed to Moiri Falo and the Godi was rushed to Lescos. But let alone Godi was brought to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, uh, to the Moiri Falo hospital. 
And so when I went there, I could not travel. At I traveled at night from 1 a.m. and uh, I found him in the hospital at, one, at uh, 7 a.m. unconscious. And I was there the whole day until the time he died. And we are glad to all those who supported us during that difficult moment, the hospital staff, the family members, and the family members' friends, the priests from Kitale and the other and sisters who helped us in that difficult moment and who are still with us even now. What has been said by our moderator is quite it's real true. He was a little pastor, a man of God, who loved his people and who really wanted, and uh, I told people yesterday, he loved quality. When he came building the house, the, the house is a quality. We had to, go, to buy a vehicle for the house, uh, for the parish, he want, wanted quality. Even the formation of the Christians, he wanted quality. Nobody would go to baptism or confirmation just like that without going through, uh, through catechesis. And, uh, and uh, he was made sure that this person really qualifies for the, for, for the sacrament. And, uh, and so, though we say that we have really lost a great man of God, God knows why it has happened this time. And we pray uh, that God may strengthen uh, us, and especially the parents uh, who have lost uh, their dear, dear son. So there are so many people here from Telanet and from Kipeda Dinale, where he was our dean, and people from Kericho. I will just request the Christians of Telanet, where you are, and those of Kipeda Dinale, and generally from Kericho, to stand up just where you are. So as you can see, uh, we are many of us here. We had a liquid mass yesterday. We had masses the previous night. The whole night we had masses. And then uh, we started off uh, the journey uh, from 12 a.m. this night to come to uh, pay farewell to our brother. So I do not want to say much, but let's see, let me say that may God grant him eternal rest. Laha ya milele umpe ebwana. Apumzike kwa amani. Asanteni. Asante, Brother Simon. Um, allow me to uh, acknowledge on behalf of us all the presence of the Christians who have just uh, been requested to stand from Telanet, uh, Christians from Musabaha, uh, Christians from Peketoni, the places where we now and then we are hit by these people. Yeah? Yeah, Christians from Peketoni, wherever you are, they arrived yesterday and they we are hosted at Ruiru, St. Francis. Can you please stand up? Because I also come from Peketoni, that is why. Please stand up and wave. Uh, they are wonderful people, these ones. I don't know whether one of you would want to speak because then, uh, your son has been privileged with this position, at least anyway. Yeah. Uh, so thank you, Christians from Kapenguria. Thank you so much. Uh, good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you. The Christians from Kapenguria, we are grateful to you. Christians from Kitale, thank you so much. And uh, of course, our dear brothers and sisters from Ruiru, thank you so much. Um, before I welcome our superior, our custos, uh, uh, Brother Shrima, uh, may I allow me to say uh, some, something in brief on Capuchin TV. Of course, you have heard that most of you have been receiving this information through this TV and you seem to be very happy. We are also happy because our aim was not to profit from this TV as such, but rather to make the Word of God and, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 our, the Word of God get to where you are in your own rooms, in your own homes. And we are happy since with the support which we have been receiving from KCCB, we, this has become a reality. But there are challenges which 
we face uh, you know on this journey of making sure that the the tv runs you know smoothly and uh, this tv of course is yours in fact it is yours more than ours it is yours and for that reason we uh, beg you we request you kindly to support it to support it it is not a tv which is uh, it is not an investment in fact it is not an investment we don't get anything from that tv yeah we don't get anything you know don't say that now capuchins are going to enrich themselves in fact we remain as poor as the poor man of assisi you can see we are yes but we are grateful because until now with your support this tv has been able to remain on feet and we are sure that it will continue remaining on feet because you are re re you know resolved to support this tv until the end of time are you together so from all corners of the world, if you are from even the farthest corner of Kenya and you have been receiving, you know, you have been fed by, through this TV, the, please make sure that you support it. In, and when I say supporting it, it's not just a, through prayer. No, don't, say, don't tell us that we will pray for you. No, you support it financially so that it can stand. Are we together? Okay, prayers are absolutely necessary because without prayer we cannot do anything. But surely, you understand? <laughs> are you together? Yes. As you pray for us, send something also. Okay? Even God himself, he sent us his son. He did not just wish us well. He sent his son to come. So even yourself send something. <laughs> are you together? Yeah. Our brother who is in charge, the, the director of the TV, is here, brother Peter Waweru. Peter Waweru? He's outside there, he's, uh, but we have brother Shumila over here, Vincent Shumila from Kitali. Maybe you stand, he's the brasa, he's the one who is in charge of the finances. So you send to him, not to me, to him, okay? Send to him and uh, uh, he's very, very responsible in matters finance. Thank you so much, and now I think I have uh, ended my role here, which I was given. I would uh, kindly request our superior who will invite our bishops uh, to speak to us. Uh, so welcome, Brother Shrima. Mwashamu Baba Skofu, eh, Philip Wanyolo, pamoja na Baba Skofu, Alfred Rotich, Mapadre Wenzangu, Watawa Wote, na Wakristo Wote. All protocols of service. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Nina mshukuru mwenyezi mungu kwa baraka na mema yote ambayo natujalia katika maisha yetu na hata wakati ambapo ametutembelea kwa njia ya kumchukua ndugu yetu Kalis bado tunarudisha shukrani kwa sababu yeye ndio anajua ni kwa nini amemuita kwake nyumbani tuna Shukuru Mungu kwa baraka na mema yote. Nipende tu kwa sababu mambo mengi yamesemwa nitoe neno la shukrani kwa wachungaji wetu Baba Scott Philip Wanyolo, Alfred Rotit na Bishop Elect eh, George Mutaka ambaye ni ndugu yetu pia. Asanteni sana kwa kutuongoza katika ibada hii ya misa. Mungu awabariki na kuwalinda. Kwa ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini, Poleni, lakini tujipe moyo. Mungu wetu ni mkubwa kuliko zile shida ambazo tunapitia na kwa imani ataendelea kutushikilia na sisi wenyewe pia tuendelee kushikiliana, kusaidiana 
tujenge familia na Mungu akiwa upande wetu basi atatutumia pia kulete baraka kwa kanisa na pia kwa baraka kwa familia na wale watu ambao tunawahudumia poleni sana kwa wazazi tunasema poleni sana lakini pia tunawaahidi hatutawaacha mubaki peke yenu kati ya mambo ambayo tulikuwa tunapanga na Kalis alikuwa ni chairman wa welfare tarehe nane mwezi wa tatu tulikuwa na mkutano katika edikota yetu hapa St Jude na tulikuwa tunapanga vile ambapo tutakuwa na maombi pamoja na kushikilia familia probably after every one year ama after every two years kwa zile familia ambazo wamepoteza ndugu kwa hivyo mtatuona tukirudi katika boma sio kwamba baada ya ndugu kale sikutuacha tutawaachilia hapana tumepanga mipango tayari na tunawapa pole tutasimama na ninyi lakini pia cha muhimu zaidi tutawaombea na Mungu atawabariki na kwa wakristo wa Telanet Kalis alikuwa ameniambia jambo he had whispered to me na msiwe na wasiwasi nitaongea na ndugu wenzangu katika uongozi the council members na tutapanga na kwa mashauri ya baba askofu na Mungu akiwa upande wetu ninajua kazi ya Mungu itaendelea tumsifu Yesu Kristo Ningeomba tu tuzidi kumwombea ndugu yetu Kalis ili aweze kupumzika kwa amani na pia tuzidi kuombea familia na mwisho kabisa ningependa kuwashukuru ninyi wote hatutaweza kuwataja majina wale ambao wametusaidia madaktari ambao walitusaidia wasamaria wema waliompeleka ndugu yetu hospitali tunatoa shukrani zetu na tutazidi kuwaombea Mungu awabariki na kuwalinda Nitamuomba ndugu yetu Bishop Elect aje awasalamie na pia ndiye atamkaribisha Baba Skof Alfred Rotich na Baba Skof Alfred Rotich ataweza kumkaribisha His Grace Philip Wanyolo kama na neno atuambie na tupatie baraka ndio tuendelee na sehemu ya kumpumzisha ndugu yetu. Raha ya milele upe Bwana. Apumzike kwa amani. I have been requested to call the one who is giving the vote of thanks so that once the, the bishops uh, have spoken we will just conclude yeah so uh, brother david kamau yeah we used to be schoolmates many years back more than 50 years ago My Grace, Bishop Anyoro, My Lordship, Bishop Rotich, Father George Mudaka, Bishop Erect wa Karisa, Father Arnold Shirima, our Custos, Familia, Baba na Mama, wa Brother Karist, na Duguzake wote, Mapadri wenzangu, my sister, na my brother, Tumsifi Yesu Christo, Tumsifu Yesu Kristo tena. Yangu kwa niaba ya shirika ni kutoa vote of thanks for all those who have been in one way or another uh, helped us and those who have been touched by the demise of Father Karist. Ningependa ili nisiweze kuacha yoyote kutoa hizo shukrani kwa mpigo 
Kwanza kabisa ungependa kumshukuru Mungu ambaye ametupatia alitupatia Karist kama zawadi katika shirika letu. Vipaji vyote alivyokuwa navyo alivyovitumia kwa ajili ya kujenga ufalme wa Mungu hapa duniani. Tunajua kwamba Karist alikuwa na vipaji vingi. Tumesikia hapa tangu tulipo tangu jana very good things that has been said about him. We thank God for that. Tunataka kushukuru wazazi wake kwa namna ya pekee. Kwa sababu ni hao waliotupatia zawadi hii kwetu sisi kama shirika. Walimlea wakampeleka kanisani wakamfundisha imani ili aweze kugundua na kuitikia wito wa Mungu katika jumuiya yetu ya wakapuchini. Asante ni sana na kama vile Kristo alivyosema kuondoka kwa Karist sio mwisho wetu sisi ama urafiki ule wetu na nyinyi haujafika mwisho tunajua kwamba mtu anapoolewa anapoanza ule urafiki katika familia hizi mbili unadumu maisha vivyo hivyo tunawahakikishia nyinyi ni sehemu yetu kama familia tungependa kwa namna ya pekee kuwashukuru wote madaktari walio mshughulikia Karist wakati alipopata ajali na wale wote walihusika kwa namna moja ama nyingine hata kumpeleka hospitalini madaktari waliokuwa namshughulikia mapadri waliofika kwanza kumpatia the rights eh? communion rights zile zinahitajika na kanisa tunataka kuwashukuru kwa namna ya pekee tungependa kushukuru jimbo la kitari ambapo ndugu yetu anatoka kutoka kwa askofu mapadri wote na masista wote wa kitale tunajua kwamba walifanya ibada ya misa kwa ajili ya dugu Karist na tunataka kuwashukuru kwa sababu hiyo Karist alikuwa mmoja wenu kutoka jibo lenu alikuwa kiungo muhimu katika maendeleo ya jimbo zima na kwa hivyo kuondoka kwake kusiwe mwisho wa kuendeleza mambo mema aliyoyaotea na mambo mema aliyokuwa anayafanya tungependa kwa namna ya pekee kushukuru jimbo la kericho pamoja na askofu wake wa Kristo wote hasa parokia alipokuwa anafanya kazi tumeona jinsi walivyokuja kwa wingi wameshuhudia mambo mema ambayo father Karis alifanya na tunajua kwamba walimuunga mkono kwa dhati ili akaweza kupata mafanikio tuliyosikia siku ya leo tunaendelea kuwaombea na tutaendelea kuwa pamoja nanyi umetuambia kwamba viatu vya Karist vilikuwa vikubwa na nina uhakika Kustos anao watu wenye miguu mikubwa ambao wanaweza kuingia kwenye viatu hivyo kwa hivyo msiwe na wasiwasi ina uhakika Mungu ambaye aliwaletea Karist atawaletea mwingine hata mwema pengine kuliko Karist tungependa kwa namna ya pekee kuwashukuru ndugu zetu wote wa kapuchini tangu tulipopata habari hii tumekuwa tukiomba tumekuwa na maombolezi na kila ndugu kwa namna yake ameweza kuhusika kwa namna moja ama nyingine kwa maombi kwa kujitolea kwa nyimbo 
na kwa kila hali tunataka kuwashukuru na katika shukrani hizo tungetaka kuwashukuru hasa kamati ambayo ilikuwa inaandaa mazishi haya yote ikiongozwa na fadhakarao vile vile kwa namna ya pekee katika kamati hiyo tungependa kuwataja father simon mbudhi ambaye alikuwa pamoja na kariste tangu mwanzo wa parokia hiyo mpya ya Taranet na vile vile father steven nyapora ambaye alikuwa karibu sana hata wakati ambapo father karist anaenda father nyapora na wazazi walikuwa pale tunataka kumshukuru sana kwa kazi hiyo njema aliyolifanya kuna ndugu waliojitolea kutoka hapa kwenda paka Kericho na kwenda vile vile mpaka Eldoret ili kuweza kuwa company mwili wa Father Karist tunawashukuru sana wakiongozwa na Father Okero na wengine tunawashukuru sana vile vile ningependa kwa namna ya pekee kushukuru Jimbo la Nairobi kwa sababu kupitia kwa mchungaji wao aliyekubali kuwa pamoja nasi siku ya leo ili kumsindikisha dugu yetu na sio hivyo tu ametupatia mahali pa kumlaza mwili wa Father Karist tunajua kwamba tuliambiwa na tumesoma kwamba e, mashirika na watu a, wa kanisa waweze kutafuta mahali pao pa kuwalaza watu. Kwa vile sisi kama wakapuchini hatujajiandaa, tumerudi kwao na tumekubali a, na wamekubali tuweze kumlaza ndugu yetu katika makaburi yao hapa. Kwa hivyo tunawashukuru sana. Vile vile tunawashukuru wale ambao wametayarisha nyumba ya mwisho ambapo Karist atalazwa hiyo kazi ni kazi ngumu lakini kwa moyo mmeweza kufanya hivyo na kwa upendo mkubwa tunawashukuru sana mwisho tunawashukuru runinga yetu ya Capuchin ambayo imeandamana pamoja na Karist tangu uh, mahali alipo alipofanywa misa ya kwanza na, ku, na, ku, na kuendelea kuwapasha watu wa Mungu yale yanayoendelea katika shirika letu na yale yanayoendelea katika hali hii ya mazishi tunataka kuwashukuru na nyinyi nyote ambao mmefika siku ya leo watawa ma brother ma, uh, watawa wa kike na wa kiume ma brother na wa kristu wenye mapenzi mema mahali popote ulipo jisikie kwamba sisi kama ndugu wa kapuchini tunakudhamini na tunakushukuru kwa mchango wako katika hali hii ya uchungu tunajua kwamba kuondoka kwa Karist ni pigo kubwa kwetu sisi kama shirika i happened kuwa pamoja na Karist wakati wa formation yake wakati alipokuwa katika marezi na ninajua kwamba what kind of a person Karist is for our congregation kwenye euroje yangu ambayo imeandikwa hapa nimesema kwamba wakati tulipokuwa katika mahali gumu Karist will always give a smile to all the brothers we cannot doubt about his brotherhood and his love for the brothers ni changamoto kwetu sisi tuliobaki huo umoja ambayo Karist aliuombea that brotherhood of the franciscans may always reign in us and we know that wherever he is he will continue praying for us asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki asante brother david kamau 
Uh, sorry, I was uh, alerted that uh, I did not acknowledge the presence of one Christian from Kakrigu, uh, Rusinga Island. We have our brothers there. Yeah, uh, we have our Christians from uh, uh, Kakrigu. Fred is here and also Hola Parish. So we thank you all. I have also been asked to give the Utaratibu uh, to hapa Bada, yeah, Kutoka hapa Sasa to hapa uh, tuta toka kwa utaratibu tutaelekea tutafuata njia hii ya chini kuna njia ya chini pale tukitoka kwa mlango pale tunateremka hivyo chini okay tunateremka chini tunazunguka hivi mpaka makaburini kule kule ambapo tuliacha magari e, na tutaenda tukiimba kuna nyimbo hapa kwenye utaratibu hapa tuliweka nyimbo ukurasa wa mwisho kuna nyimbo ambazo zitatusaidia kuweza kutembea pamoja ili kumsindikiza ndugu katika mahali ambapo tutaulaza mwili wake. Kwa hivyo sasa namkaribisha ndugu George Muthaka e, kama mlivyosikia yeye ni askofu mteule wa Jimbo la Garissa. Tulikuwa tuna compete lakini it, what happened niliambiwa the qualification moja ilikuwa ni urefu. Ikasemekana kwa sababu yeye ni mrefu kuniliko ataona mbali. Karibu ndugu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Basi mimi nimesema mengi kwa mahubiri na nimepewa kazi rahisi sana nayo ni kuweza kumwalika Muhashamu baba askofu wa Kiricho pahali ndugu yetu alikuwa anafanya kazi Bishop Alfred Rotich aweze kuja kutupatia pole na kutupa maneno yake ya, ya ya hekima kama kawaida. Kwa hivyo baba askofu karibu. Eh, Mr. Alfred Rutich. Kimi mtachukua nafasi hii ya kumwalika Alfred Rutich askofu aliye ambatana na ndugu yetu ambaye ametuaga ametuacha mpaka nyakati za mwisho yeye ndiye aliyempeleka kwa Mungu ndiye aliyemsaidia kwa hiyo basi yeye ndiye ataongea atatoa hotuba ya mwisho mimi nasema wote mliokuja siku hii ya leo kuomboleza huyu ndugu yetu Kalistus wafla nasema asanteni tunajua Mungu amempangia mahala pema peponi kwa sababu Kristu alituhakikishia kwamba nyumbani mwa baba kuna makao mengi na hivyo tuhakikishia hivyo ameandaa makao yale na hata sisi pia tuombe sana vyenye mhubiri alivyotuambia leo hata sisi tuandae tuweze kuingia katika yale makao nasema asante sana kwa padri wa hapa aliyefungua milango ya kanisa hili ambamo milango hii iliyotakatifuzwa amamo ndugu yetu alipitia ili kwamba aweze kupata pia baraka za milele apate indulgences za kuweza kumuendeleza mpaka kwa Mungu tunasema poleni kwa mama na baba na jamaa ya wazazi na wazazi hawa huyu ndugu yetu tunajua ni msiba lakini Mungu anayetoa ni Mungu yule yule anayerudisha kwa hivyo basi mama tunasema Mungu aweze kubariki maombi yetu yako kwa Mungu kupitia kwa kupitia kwetu tunakuombea kwa Mungu na kuombea kwa Mungu. Tunasema familia yote iweze kufanikiwa kwa katika haya maonyakati za majonzi ili ya kwamba mweze kupata tena nafuu na Mungu aendelee kufanya kazi anayofanya kazi anayofanya ndani yenu. Asante sana. Humusi mirawele, mimi nimeke mwaola. Huyu ito mwana ino, huyu wa mkulundu. Asanteni.
Salamu nyingi na hongera tunazitoa kutoka kwa baba askofu David Kamau anasema pole. Tunatoa pia salamu nyingi na na nini na maombelezi pia kutoka kwa kardinali ambaye pia anasema pole kwa ndugu zetu wa Franciscana na vile familia ya huyu e, ndugu yetu Kalista. Kwa basi ninachukua nafasi hii kumkaribisha askofu Rotich ili ya kwamba atuandalie mambo ya mwisho na kuele, tuelekeza tunapotakapo mlaza huyu ndugu yetu ambaye Mungu anamuita kwake hapo muziki kwa amani. Sasa salam pia na maombi pia kutoka kwa mapadri wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi. Wanasema poleni wangeweza kuja. Kwa hiyo basi ndugu yetu askofu karibuni, karibu kwa hotuba yako. Your Grace Archbishop Philip Pagnolo, the Archbishop of Nairobi Archdiocese, the Bishop elect of Garissa, the Custos Father Arnold, the Nduguwati Fraternity Wa Capuchins, members of the family including the doctor, including our dear daughter who came all the way from the U.S. Wote wajami. Sisi hapa tumekuwa kama familia. Na mimi nimeponyo sana kwa sababu mimi sikujua nitaongea nini kwa sababu najua wakati unaomboleza hujui unaposema. Lakini nimeponyo sana kwa sababu we are wepo hatu hapa mapadre wa Kristo na hasa wale ambao wametoka katika parokia ya Telanet nilikuwa nataka kujaribu kucheza scrabble kidogo na Telanet nikitafuta neno hili Telanet naweza kutuundia tena another word called talent Na kwa hivyo mama moderator alivyokuwa akiongea Mimi speech yote haiwezi kuongeza mambo hayo Kwa sababu mtu akifa hatuna historia hakuna mtu anaongea juu ya huyo mtu dakika hiyo ila watu ambao meketi those who have lived very closely Na hasa sisi mapadre wakati tumekuwa katika formation tunaelezwa moyo wa nyenyekevu moyo wa watu wa subira moyo wa watu wa nyenyekevu watu wa kupenda watu watu wa kujitolea watu wa kupenda watu watu wenye moyo safi oneni hata ninyi those who are in the formation this is your school this is your school you hear the story of what he has done write it down write it down emulate him go higher na sote tumesoma na hiyo ndio mambo ambayo pengine tunahitaji wakati ambapo tunatafakari kwa sababu wakati wa kifo na hata safari ya mwisho inatupa a lot of what we call discerning moment discerning moment and you want to be interacting with the, the sad moment you are interacting with a relationship you are interacting with a lot of uneasiness and anxiety na hujui unasema nini ama unatenda nini kuna kitu imempacho imetokelea kumbe shule nzima imefunguliwa kwa hivyo nashukuru ninyi wa Kristo wa Telanet sana kwa sababu padre alikuja na mkafanya kazi pamoja Father Simon, the Holy Spirit is working in your parish. 
And I was praying that the Holy Spirit may give us that gap will be filled by a Pentecost. Because Babu, if a death has happened, there will be an ascension and there will be a Pentecost. We must allow our brother and ourselves to participate in the death and also in the ascension and also we wait for Pentecost. And we hear Jesus Christ telling us, don't be afraid. He comes here. Na natueleza hivyo. Na kwa hivyo buchishike moyo, the Holy Spirit, the Pentecost will come to you, the family, and the Lord knows how. The Lord knows how. And I want to encourage you, brothers, and we encourage ourselves as we live and as we work, let us see what is it in the person that has now gone to sleep. He has not died. But he has left us and to eternity. We were touched by eternity at our baptism. It's only the circumstances that we are not, we don't know. But for this journey, I see what you are saying. Mama huyo liomba kwamba uwe mama on padre. There is a generation na mungu atafanya kazi yake. Mungu atafanya kazi yake. Tuombe mito sasa. Tuombe kuwe na tumesikia all those good qualities. Kuwe na mtu, kuwe na pande wazazi wazae jioni ya leo. Mapande wapi? Mapande wazae. Nimesema kila siku kwamba lazima wazae sisi kazi yetu ni kutumika tu na kuzaa wa Kristo wajae dunia hii we build the kingdom of God. Let us and we the fathers and we the fathers encourage people to pray encourage people to pray wazalishe wazalishe vitu ambavyo tutajengea kama vile mlikuwa nasema capuchin tv kuna nafasi ya capuchin tv kwa kericho kuna mahali tumetengeneza there is a place we have applied for a license na capuchin tv kutakuwa na hapo na radio sasa mnatafuta nafasi yenu mlisema kwamba of course you talk about the capuchin and how they influence the people's life I would like to put it a more theological uh, word, comba. Be available. Be available. It's not only one parish, two parish. Kericho is the place to go. <laughs> for the sisters, for families, and we will do through the, the television, we want to communicate the family values, strengthen the values of the family so that we can have holy priests, holy nuns, holy brothers, holy families. Let the Pentecost, let us experience that. So let us not worry. Yes, it is sad when we are delinking. We have to cry. We have to shed tears because that is what God gave us to do as well. But I am strong than when I came. I am strong than when I had this news. I am strong because on the 20th of March, Father Callistus came to the office and I called him because he had asked the pastoral coordinator, who is the Vicar General, Father Jonah, that he would like to ask the bishop if he can postpone the commissioning of the CWN CMA until after Easter. I allowed him. I said, which date? We set a date. So when I received this news, I said, was he paving way to enter eternity first? So that we struggled to commission the Kiptere Deanery. We are going to Kiptere Deanery. And he asked for permission. He said, can I change a little bit? And he shifted. And he said, we need to prepare. Perhaps that is a quality. He wanted to perfect it. So 20th, he told me, I will be there. And he came and I allowed him. Allow me to say, not only the Catholics have expressed that they have touched, he touched life. The Anglican Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Kericho, Bishop Ernest Ngero, who comes from 
tell an aunt, send me a message here and he said, and allow me to just to touch the button now and be able to uh, produce it yesterday. And he said, it was a 0923. He said, accept our condolences following the death of your priest, Father Callistus, whose ministry impacted many people, impacted many people. May he rest in eternal peace. Attraction, attraction. Our celibacy should be attractive. Our vows should be attractive. We must touch life. So we want to say, Majesty, poleni sana, poleni sana. Lakini asante sana kwa samadi. Kwa samadi. Hatuwezi kupimia mtu siku. Lakini samadi ambayo tumepokea mzee na mama. Ni samadi kubwa sana. Nimesikia hadithi. Na imenipia picha mzuri ya parokia. Misi jaingia kwa parokia niende kabisi lakini isha afika huko. Lakini hadithi ikitoka kwa ma, ma wa kristu wakisema jambu kuhusu padre. Askofu na wa kristu wanafurai sana. Na kiricho minasikia report mzuri. The first report nimesikia asubuhi ya leo. Kwa hivyo pongezi sana. Pongezi kwa huyu, pongezi kwa wakristo ambao wale na hasa padri ambaye amemkaa na yeye. Wakristo wengi wanakuja tena net kwa retreat. Sijui kwa nini, mnakula nini, mnafanya nini? Sijui. Si ndivyo wakristo? Yes. So the, the springboard kuna nini huko? Na tunasema asante sana. So let this seed, let this seed that is going down in a few minutes, of course he has gone. In a few minutes to water and to germinate and to become a Pentecost in the diocese and in the Ag diocese because we belong to the Ag diocese and belong to all people of all nations. And let us not worry who will come, the Spirit of the Lord will give us. The Spirit of the Lord will give us. Poleni, not take courage. Father Arnold, Poleni, be strong. Mapadre wote, askofu, mku, ulikuwa dikon huko, ulikuwa pa, askofu pale. Sasa ni, ni baada ya hapa tutaketi pamoja na nyingi. Halafu tuangalie kutulizana lakini haswa ya kutafuta mbinu za wenezaji. Kwa hivyo mungu wabariki sana. Mungu wabariki sana na sema hasante. Sante sana. Yes, sante sana. Baskofu, now what follows is the final commendation. Na tunaomba Baba Askofu atuongoze kwenye final commendation. With faith in Jesus Christ, we reverently bring the body of our brothers, Calisto, of the Sineo, to be buried in its human imperfection. Let us pray with confidence to God, who gives us life to all things, that he will raise up this mortal body to the perfection and the company of the saints. May God give him a merciful judgment. 
and forgive all his sins. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, lead him safely home to be at peace with God, our Father. And may he be happy forever with all the saints in the presence of eternal King.
Into your hands we commend our brother. We are confident that with all who have died in Christ, he will be raised to eternal life on the last day and live with Christ forever. We thank you for all the blessing you gave him in this life to show your fatherly care for all of us and the fellowship which is ours with the saints in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear our prayer. Welcome our brother to paradise and help us to comfort each other with the assurance of our faith until we all meet in Christ to be with you and with our brother forever and ever. The casket, please do it. The casket is going to cross. The one carrying the cross to be in front. And the Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sifu Yesu Kristu milele amina imekuwa ni safari ya mwisho ya ndugu yetu Padre Calistus Wafula Simiu ambaye Bwana alimuita e, wiki iliyopita na baada ya yote aliyofanyika basi leo ni kumlaza kati kati na miongoni mwa padre wenzake ambao wamefanya kazi kwenye shamba la Bwana E, katika jimbo hili kuu na kutoka sehemu nyingi kama ilivyo kawaida mapadre wanalazwa kwenye makaburi pamoja na wenzao pengine e, kumalizia a, ibada hii ya leo ni kutoa maoni machache kwa maneno ambayo tumesikia maneno ya kujenga imani kwa watawa na walei na pengine kumalizia tuko hapa nje baada ya ibada ya misa padre karibu utuambie e, utuambie majina yako na unahudumu wapi E, tuambie majina yako na hudumu wapi na ulimjuaje huyu mtumishi wa Mungu Mimi naitwa Father Moses nafanya kazi kwenye idara magereza kule Tale Father Kalis ni ndugu na rafiki nimemjua kwa muda mrefu na kwa niaba ya mapadri wa Kitale nasema Mungu aliyemuita akampe raha milele akaweze kupumzika kwa amani langu kwa familia ni kuomba kwamba Mungu aliyemuita padri aweze kuwapa neema ya kusamili msibao kwa imani na kwa padri namtakia raya milele kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Asandeni sana wana Captain TV. Mungu awabariki mnapozidi kueneza neno la Mungu. Miaka iliyopita hatukuwa tuna, tunaona zaidi ama hatukuwa tunasikia padri ameaga siku hizi ni kama ni kama kawaida. Inafund, Inafundisha kuhusu maisha ya muumini Mkristo awe mlei, awe padre wakati Mungu anamuita. Sisi kama Wakristo njia moja ambayo tunajua tunamrudia muumba ni kwa njia ya kifo na Kristo mwenyewe alikufa na akafufuka kwa hivyo sisi kama Wakristo tusiwe na hofu pale anapokufa ni njia yetu sisi wote kumrudia Mwenyezi Mungu na kifo ushindi wake ni ufufuko ambapo padri wetu amekufa katika kipindi cha kwa resma atafufuka pamoja na Kristo kipindi cha pasaka Asante sana Padre Kazinjema. Nashukuru sana. Ni basi tunafikia uh, hatua za mwisho safari ya kumwelekeza na kumuongoza Padre eh, Kalistas Wafula kwenye makaburi ya eh, eneo la Mtakatifu Austin. Ame, amekuwa pamoja nasi pia Baba Askofu Mhashamu 
uh, Alfred Rotich ambaye ni askofu kwenye jimbo la Kiricho ambako kwa amehudumu kwa miaka yote hiyo sita kwenye parokia hiyo na ujumbe wa baba askofu uh, Alfred Rotich ni kwamba basi eh, baada ya baada ya kufarijia na baada ya kuliwazana amesema uh, baba askofu basi akirudi kule amepata ushuhuda wa namna ambayo ndugu wa Kapuchino anafanya kazi kwenye eh, eh, jimbo lake na basi tunatarajia kwamba basi eh, kama alivyosema um, um, kwa shirika viatu vya ndugu Kalisto vitatafutiwa mtu wa kuvivaa maana yake ni, ni kwamba basi eh, maisha lazima yaendelee huduma kwa watu wa Mungu pale kwenye parokia mtakatifu Padre Pio Telanet lazima yataendelea na tunawatakia uh, uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu wazazi watakapokuwa kirudi kwao na tunafariji wengi ambao wanaomboleza wapendwa wao kutoka pande zote za taifa letu wale ambao wana wa, ndugu zao ni wagonjwa kwenye eh, familia zao na kwenye eh, mahospitali tunawatakia uh, uponyaji wa haraka basi kutoka hapa tunaelekea makaburini na na kupongeza tunakutakia laheri baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu mchana wa leo na kwa majaliwa yake Mwenyezi Mungu tapatana wakati mwingine Mungu akubariki na kukulinda ndugu Francisco mm Francisco Mkapuchini Peter Weru kwa niaba ya ndugu wa Francisco kote ambao anaomboleza Mungu pia atufariji Kapuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Sala kwa ajili ya uchaguzi wa amani na haki kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu Amina E Bwana Mungu Tunakushukuru kwa nchi yetu nzuri ya Kenya. Tunapo ukaribia uchaguzi mkuu, tunakuomba utujalie uwe wa amani, uwazi na uliojaa uwajibikaji. Tujalie tutafute zaidi kuyaelewa vyema maswala na mambo muhimu yanayoikabili nchi yetu na jinsi injili inavyotusukuma kuyakabili maswala hayo kama wananchi waaminifu katika jumuiya yetu tunakuomba utujalie macho yasiyo na upofu ili tuweze kuchukuliana kama ndugu wenye hadhi na usawa hasa wale walio wahanga wa unyanyasaji ukatili udanganyifu na umaskini tujalie masikio naweza kusikia kilio cha wanyonge na akili ya kuweza kupambanua kilicho chema na kiovu tujalie pia tuweze kuachagua viongozi wanaolishika neno lako viongozi wanaoishi upendo wako na wanaoishika njia ya ukweli yako na ambao watatu wataufuata mfano wa mwanao Yesu Kristu wakituongoza ili tuige tuingie katika ufalme wako wa haki na amani tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu bwana wetu kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho takatifu amina woman great is your faith be as great as the great women of the bible be a mary humble and submissive you don't have to be great for god to use you you just need to obey and be yourself Woman, great is your faith. Be as great as the great women of the Bible.
Hello dear viewer, my name is Monica Dinda from St. Mary's Catholic Church in Gatarungai and today I'm going to teach you about the colors and the meanings of the PMC uniform. So, on my left, as you can see, she has a white top. The white means Oceania. On my right, I have a, she has a red. The red means America. And as I'm having a yellow top, the yellow means Europe. Thank you. Ahadi 15 za rozari takatifu. Ahadi ya kwanza. Yeyote yule atakayesali kwa imani rozari hii takatifu atapokea neema kuu zenye nguvu. Ahadi ya pili. Naahidi ulinzi wa kipekee na neema za kipekee kwa yule atakayesali rozari hii. Ahadi ya tatu. Rozari itakuwa silaha kubwa dhidi ya nguvu za kuzimu, itaharibu maovu, itapunguza dhambi na kushinda kutofautiana. Ahadi ya nne itafanya fadhila kukua kazi nzuri kuongezeka itapatia roho huruma tele toka kwa Mungu itaondoa hamu ya wanadamu kupenda mambo ya dunia na majivuno yake na kufanya wapende zaidi mambo ya mbinguni oh ni kwa namna gani roho hizo zitajifurahisha na kubarikiwa kwa namna hii Ahadi ya tano. Roho zitakazo jikabidhi kwangu kwa njia ya kusali rozari kamwe hazitapotea. Ahadi ya sita. Yeyote atakayesali rozari kwa uaminifu huku akiyatafakari matendo makuu ya rozari kamwe hatashindwa na ubaya. Mungu hatamwadhibu katika hukumu yake. Hatapotea katika kifo asichopangiwa na atabaki katika neema za Mungu na kustahili kupata uzima wa milele. Ahadi ya saba, yeyote atakayekuwa mwaminifu katika kusali rozari kamwe hatakufa bila kupokea sakramenti takatifu za kanisa. Ahadi ya nane, wote watakaokuwa waaminifu katika kusali rozari watadumu katika mwanga wa Mungu katika maisha yao na saa yao ya kufa na kupata neema zake tele katika saa yao ya kufa watashiriki fadhila za watakatifu waliopo peponi. Ahadi ya tisa, nitawatoa toharani wale wote waliokuwa waminifu katika kusali rozari. Ahadi ya kumi, watoto wangu waminifu katika kusali rozari watapata fadhila kuu ya utukufu mbinguni. Ahadi ya kumi na moja, utapata yale yote unayoniomba kwa kusali rozari. Ahadi ya kumi na mbili, Wote wale wanaoeneza rozari hii takatifu nitawasaidia katika mahitaji yao. Ahadi ya 13. Nimepata toka kwa mwanangu mtukufu kuwa mawakili wote wa rozari takatifu watapata waombezi toka baraza lote kuu la mbinguni wakati wa maisha yao na wakati wa saa yao ya kufa. Ahadi ya 14. Wote wanaosali rozari hii takatifu ni wanangu na kaka na dada wa wanangu wa pekee Yesu Kristo. Ahadi ya 15. Ibada kwa rozari takatifu ni ishara kuu ya kuelekea ukombozini. Amri za Mungu. Ndimi Bwana Mungu wako. Usiabudu miungu wengine. Usilitaje buri jina la Mungu wako. Shika kitakatifu siku ya Mungu. Waheshimu baba na mama upate miaka mingi na heri duniani. Usiue. Usizini. Usiibe. Usiseme uongo. Usitamani mwanamke asiye mke wako. Usitamani mali ya mtu mwingine. Amri za Mungu. Kupata amri za Mungu. Kama sikiza tuni yako, bonyeza neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 
Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 With man this is impossible but with God all things are possible Seven sorrows of Mary The seven sorrows or dolors in Spanish are sorrowful events in the life of the Blessed Virgin Mary that are a popular devotion and are frequently depicted in art. The Virgin Mary is portrayed with seven long knives or daggers piercing her heart, often bleeding. The seven sorrows are the prophecy of Simeon Luke chapter 2 verses 34 to 35 The escape and flight into Egypt Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 The loss of the child Jesus in the temple of Jerusalem Luke chapter 2 verses 43 to 45 The meeting of Mary and Jesus on the Via Dolorosa. The crucifixion of Jesus on Mount Calvary. John chapter 19 verses 25. The piercing of the side of Jesus with a spear and his descent from the cross. Matthew chapter 27 verses 57 to 59. The burial of Jesus by Joseph of Arimathea. John chapter 19 verses 40 to 42. It is a common practice for Catholics to say daily one Our Father and seven Hail Marys for each. Our Lady's sorrows are celebrated twice during the year, on the Friday before Good Friday and on September 15th. Seven Sorrows of Mary Hail Holy Queen Mother of Mercy Hail our life and sweetness and our hope To you do we cry poor banished children of Eve to you do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in this valley of tears turn then most gracious advocate your eyes of mercy toward us and after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb jesus o merciful o loving o sweet virgin mary amen to get hail holy queen as your skiza tune send skiza followed by code 738 10258 and send it to 811 Hello dear viewer my name is Monica Dinda from St Mary's Catholic Church in Gatarongai And today I'm going to teach you about the colors and the meanings of the PMC uniform. So, on my left, as you can see, she has a white top. The white means Oceania. On my right, I have a she has a red. The red means America, and as I'm having a yellow top, the yellow means Europe. Thank you. woman great is your faith be as great as the great women of the bible be a sarah waiting for the lord to bring the blessed laughter to your painstaking life Woman, great is your faith. 
be as great as the great women of the Bible. kitubio au upatanisho Sakramenti ya kitubio ndiyo sakramenti ya kuondolea o watu thambi walizotenda baada ya ubatizo Sakramenti ya kitubio pia huitwa sakramenti ya upatanisho ipo katika fungu la sakramenti za uponyaji Kuna sakramenti mbili za uponyaji kitubio na mpako mtakatifu wa wagonjwa Dhumuni haswa la sakramenti ya uponyaji ni kuzirejeshea uhai roho zetu pale zinapougua kwa kutenda dhambi. Yesu ndiye tabibu mkuu wa roho zetu naye yu tayari kututibu kila tunapougua. Kupata kitubio kama sikiza tuni yako tuma neno sikiza likifuata na nambari 738 Woman. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Nani ange 
angesimamanda ani angesimamambele yako nani angesimamanda ani angesimamanda ani angesimamambele yako nafsi yangu inamgoja bwana Uli kowalinzi walinzi wa ngoja vyo asubuhi na mwalinzi wa ngoja vyo asubuhi Bwana kama wewe ungesabu maovu yetu nani angesimama nani angesimama nani angesimama mbele ya Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, by the three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all those who believe in you. And even though their bodies lie in the earth, they trust that they, like you, will rise again. Give our brother, Father Callistus Wafula, peaceful rest in this grave, until that day when you, the resurrection and the life, will raise him up in glory. Then may he see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus, in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Salam Maria umejaa neema baba na mwana Roho Mtakatifu kama mwanzo na sasa na siku zote na milele amina Baba yetu ulia mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufanye wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni tuelewe mkate wetu wa kila siku samea makosa yetu kama tunavyosamea na sisi walio tukosea usifike katika kishawishi lakini tuokoe maovuni amen raha ya milele mpe bwana Apumzike kwa amani. Amina. Raya milele mpe Bwana. Namwamba milele muangazie. Apumzike kwa amani. Amina. Raha ya milele mpe e Bwana. Namwamba milele muangazie. Apumzike kwa amani. Amina.
Since the Almighty God has called our brother, Father Callistus Wafula, from this life to himself, we commit his body to the earth from which it was made. Christ was the first to rise from the dead, and we know that he will raise him up. He will, he will raise up our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. We commend our brother, Father Callistus, to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise him up and raise up his body on the last day.
nakumbuka wewe ni mavumbi na mavumbini utarudi amina Oh, 
msalaba huu ni kielelezo kwamba Yesu alikufa kwa ajili yetu na kwa ajili ya ndugu yetu na akafufuka basi tunamwombea ndugu yetu aweze kufufuka katika uzima wa milele tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu amen
benedictum fructum ventris tui. Francisco Wadogo wajunge mbele wala sina Francisco zingine ambao uko hapa kwa baraka ya mtakatifu Francisco tujonge mbele tafadhali Tunawashukuru wote kwa kumsindikiza ndugu yetu Ekalist na tunawaombea baraka na ulinzi wa Mungu. Tunawakaribisha pia katika nyumba yetu muweze kupata chakula karibuni nyote. Na tutaomba na kisha tupate baraka. Mwenyezi Mungu, Baba wa huruma, Baba wa upendo Tunasema asante kwa baraka na mema yote ambayo umetujalia. Tunaomba nguvu na neema tunapoendelea kumuomboleza ndugu yetu Kalistas. Utupe mioyo ya kukubali mapenzi yako, tuimarishe katika imani. Tunaombea wazazi wape nguvu, washike mkono pamoja na familia nzima. Tunaombea ndugu zetu wa Kapuchini pia wabariki walinde wape neema ya kukubali mapenzi yako na tunaomba kwa wale marafiki ndugu na jamaa sisi wote tulio hapa utupe nguvu na neema ya kukubali kwamba Kalistas mwanao amerudi nyumbani tunaomba pia uweze kutujalia safari njema kwa wale ambao watakao safari baada ya hapa na siku zitakazofuata uwakinge na damu ya mwanao ile mwangika msalabani na tuna muomba mama yetu bikira maria aliye muombezi na mlinzi wetu atuombe kwako tukisali pamoja salamu maria umejaa neema bwana inawe umebarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote na yesu mzao wa tumbo lako umebarikiwa maria mtakatifu mama wa mungu utuombe sisi wakosefu sasa na saa ya kufa kwetu amina Tunawaombea pia marehemu wote walio katika mahali hapa pamoja na ndugu yetu Kalist. Mwanga wa milele uwape e Bwana. Mwanga wa milele uangazie kwa pumzike kwa amani. Amina. Bwana awe nanyi. Awe mwako. Awabariki na kuwalinda Mwenyezi Mungu, Baba na Mwana na Roho Takatifu. Amina. Endeni kwa amani. Tumshukuru Mungu.
Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema. Japokuwa tuna uzito wa kukubali kile ambacho katika lugha ya binadamu hatuelewi. Tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba inema yake inatutosha kama alivyomwambia Mtume Paulo na katika uzito wa yote hayo basi tunamwachia Mwenyezi Mungu. Hapo ndipo tumemlaza ndugu yetu Padre Calistas Wafula amelala pamoja na ndugu yake Padre Julius Mulwa ambaye alipumzika hiyo mwaka jana. Ni safari ya kila moja ambaye ni muumini lakini habari njema ni kwamba Yesu alishinda mauti na akatufundisha kwamba ameenda kutuandalia makao baada ya maisha ya hapa duniani sote tutarudi kwa aliyetuumba tukafurahi naye milele huo ndio ujumbe wa Jumapili kila Jumapili ya Pasaka kwa sababu Yesu alishinda mauti tunamlaza na tumemlaza Padre Calistas Wafula miongoni mwa watumishi wa Mungu wengine mapadri na watawa roho yake Mungu ilaza mahali pema peponi na asi atupatie matumaini kwamba baada ya maisha haya kuna uzima wa milele kwa niaba ya wale watu waliofanikisha matangazo haya tunakushukuru wewe mtazamaji wa Capuchin TV na tunawaombea wengi ambao wanaomboleza wapendwa wao wote wanaopitia changamoto za maisha kuna matumaini katika Yesu habari njema ndiyo hiyo kwa niaba ya wote Mungu akubariki na kukulinda Capuchin TV kitambulisho katoliki Na pia nawashukuru tena kwa support unapatia Capuchin TV. Ile support tunapatia Capuchin TV ni muhimu sana. Kwa sababu kazi wanafanya ya kuhubiri njini kote. Mimi siwezi hata wewe kwa sababu una ujuzi lakini hao kwa kuwasaidia tunafanya hiyo kazi tuendelee kufanya kazi payable number 510678 account name caps tv you are watching capuchin tv For any complaints, comments or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within 7 days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity.